All right. La 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 la. Too loud. Extremely loud music. Okay, so you have to tell me if the music and every, you know, the volume and everything is going to be too loud. Uh, we'll start by um, going into settings. So let's take a look at the settings really quick. The first thing we have to do is go into the UI. So health bars I pick to always on. Construction progress bars is always on. I'll explain what, you'll see why health bars are important. Well, they're pretty obvious why they're important. It's, it'd be nice to know what everyone's health is, right? Yeah, and that's what the health bars are for. Okay, graphics, exclusive full screen on that one. Uh, let's see if you can, yeah, yeah, you should be able to see this perfectly fine. If you can see it, I can see it. Then we can all see it. Hey, CN Moran Jen, what's up? I hope you're doing great. And uh, Sonicus is here. Yeah. All right. Um, gameplay resolution scale, performance and quality. Let's see. So this says image quality is high. Yeah. Um, HDR. I don't have HDR. We don't need it. Um, animation quality, high. Yes. Texture detail. I think high is the maximum on everything, and it automatically knew to do that. Yeah, anti-aliasing, yeah, physics high, vertical sync is on, frame rate limit is uh, 60, movie quality is 1080p. I had to change some of that, actually. Um, audio, the master volume should only be about 80%. And I like the music, Let's yeah, let's set it to 80%. And if that's still too much, then we'll um, zap it. Okay, so I will mention the controls as time goes by. We might even change some of these controls a little bit later. Controls for real-time strategy games are very complex, as you will soon discover. Okay, so um, like I said, we're going to pretend like no one knows what real-time strategy is, and I'm going to go through the tutorial. Hey, crime solver. Okay, so yeah, everyone just, uh, uh, and everyone here knows now that we are starting with the tutorial. Like we're pretending like we don't know what real-time strategy is. So that way I kind of like walk you through real-time strategy. Now, um, real-time strategy involves building a civilization and then advancing the civilization, exploring, exploiting, and then exterminating eventually you know we will be fighting people so uh you know we also call it the four e's which is explore expand exploit and then exterminate yeah that's the four e's that's how real-time strategy works the reason we call it real-time strategy is because when you're in a match especially with multiplayer you know like other players it's real time there's no turns you have to I mean, it's a lot of clicking. It's a lot of um, managing your building, your units, and then attacking. Hello there. It's pretty hard, actually. So we're not going to start with the real time. We're just going to start with tutorials. Okay, let us uh, let us find the tutorial. Explore tech trees for all civilizations. I think, yeah, here's the intro tutorial. Let's start with the intro. Let's just hop right in there. You're pretending how to learn. Oh, you've never played one in your life yet. It's they're they're fun. They're a lot of fun. The last one I did, like I said, is uh, StarCraft Two, and I played Age of Empires Two before. Uh, Age of Empires and Age of Empires Two. I've also played Empire Earth, which was my favorite until StarCraft Two came along. Um, Command and Conquer series that like um, those are real time strategy too. Yeah, yeah. And anyone who has the Xbox Game Pass, Driven from their homes by armed invaders, you might as well try it out. Refugees face the prospect of starting again. Uh, we're starting again. They would found a new village deep in the countryside. Oh, just splendid. 
You've got a British uh, narrator. Isn't that just absolutely spectacular? New settlement established. Mm -hmm. First priority was locating a reliable food source. Oh, yes, indeed. The simplest source was gathering from nature. Oh. Okay. Well, good. I like that voice, don't you? It's actually quite... Oh, avoiding the friend zone has a huge headache. Uh, <laughs> you ordered takeout. Yeah. Yeah. Command and Conquer series was mostly a real-time strategy. Not every single one of the, um, not every single one of the titles, but most of them were real-time strategy. Okay, can you hear my voice? Okay. Seems like the volume is just right. Like it should be quiet, but you should be able to hear some trees swaying in the background. In fact, we could probably turn the volume back up to ninety. Yeah, I want you to hear the ambient sound. It, it's pretty nice. It's actually quite soothing. It's comforting not to have a bunch of crashing and banging right at the front. Listen. Okay, so this is the tutorial. This is what a real-time strategy game looks like. Here is our map. So this shows our field of view. See that? If we zoom out, this expands. It's because that's what we're looking at. I can move the camera around. It is real 3D, see, like that. If I move the camera around, then that rotates the compass. Uh, here is north. See, like right now we're facing north. Nice. Oh, like dreaming a reality? Oh yeah, virtual games will get better and better. Yeah, as time goes by. Now, I learned that the, I, I'm not sure I like the, uh, the, the key bindings, like to move is you have to hold down alt and then to move this around, you either have to move the mouse or you can just, yeah, move to the corner. This is how we typically move the board around, see, by just moving the cursor to the edges. That's another way to do it. Or you could also use W, A, S, and D, but you have to hold down Alt, and I don't really like that. Okay, so let's just follow the tutorials. Uh, this is our base, or like this is the town center. We have, we start with three workers. See, they're, they're workers, it's a villager. So it says gather 50 additional food. So we start with 250 food, 250 wood, 350 gort, Oat, no uh, stone. So let's start gathering food. Oh, look at that. There's a food source. Let's go over there and start harvesting. See, so this is the very basics of real time strategy. You have to, you know, you start with just villagers. And you have to, and the first thing the villagers usually do is just pick, like, you know, they bake cookies and pick berries or something. Yeah, oh, here it goes. Okay, so we have, uh, and it looks like they each gather 10 food each time, I think. See, look, see, it even shows how much food they're gathering. Yeah, I think they each gather um, 10 food each time they go back. And you can guess what's next, right? 40, 50. There, so we learned how to gather food. Now the next a healthy supply of food, the village could start to grow. See, it's like a cute it's little so story. <sighs> fresh meat. <laughs> okay, now produce five additional villagers from the town center. Okay, so this is how you start expanding your town. You, you have to build more villagers. So let's build five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And uh where are they? Hello? Oh, that sound effect is weird. There, you see the progress meter? It's over here. That's a weird sound effect. Yeah, it's sort of like a mobile game, yeah. Is there like an Age of Empires mobile game? Or is it, is it maybe like it's called something different? Yeah, there's more and more uh, mobile games that are going the real-time strategy route, or it feels sort of like real-time strategy. See, there's no turns. OK, 
Okay, now we have five villagers. The new workforce could now turn to the growing villagers' needs. Let's send them over First, and they pick food. A mill near their food source, so villagers could drop off gathered berries more easily. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, let's build a mill. We'll build it like right here so they don't have to walk all the way over there. So we just need one person. See, the villagers build too. Oh, there's the mill. Let's put it right here. Ponk. Yeah. So if if we have these three also build the mill, see, then it builds a lot faster. And then once they're done, they'll go back to picking berries. See, then they know what to do because that's what they were working on before. The growing village would need wood to build with. Oh, there's an imposter on the screen. Oh, are there two uh, Sonic the Hedgehogs? I bet there are, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you everyone for coming in too. Um, yeah, just uh, stick around and enjoy it. I know this seems a little boring at first, but I'm showing everybody how to play the game. And I have to remember how to play the game too. The key bindings are different. See, I'm still getting used to this, but yeah, I'm already getting used to it. Um, I don't remember how to manage the units, so we're going to have to learn that. Oh, look. Now um, we're, we need wood. So uh, let's take some of these people off. Let's see. We, have two more, we can build two more people before we um, max out our population. So let's build two more. Okay, good. Uh, let's get a few people off of the, um, oh, how, Chalice, Chalice Yawaka, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like one of those nonsensical Sim Cities, apple. yeah, Apple, Waba, yeah, yeah, Waka, Yaka, Chaka, Waka, Burrito, Loco, oi, oi, Conflutos, see, I can make up words, too, um, Let's, oh look, they, the trees actually, uh, they fall. Yeah, they're felling trees right now. Now watch this, watch this. Ah, chop, that's cute. Okay, Sheldon Cooper popped in your head. <laughs> Need wood joke, yeah, I won't wait. You're a, oh yeah, Big Mama Becky is a Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so now we are gathering wood. We're gathering berries. Uh oh, look. The, the growing community now had a steady supply of lumber. Oh. To make wood collection easier, villagers could erect a lumber camp near the forest. Oh yes, of course. So here is the lumber camp right by the forest. Yeah, let's put it right there. In fact, let's just build it really quickly. Yeah. See how fast they build it? The more people you have building something, the quicker it, they do it. And now they're all chopping in wood. Thanks now the, the berries the actually go no away fast. To travel as far to drop See? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, these berry trees are almost, or the bushes are almost out. So, first of all, it, she says build three houses, okay? We'll take one, well, we'll take these two workers, bring them over here, and then we'll build three houses. Yeah, work kaflaka. Yeah, yeah, work kende wagiyaga. Don't you love this? Uh, it, it's it's a nonsensical language. Ugo waka yaka chuggle, wuggle, wiggle. There, we just built three houses. Now the issue. Housing in place, even more villagers could join the work. Oh yes. But a populous village would soon exhaust the natural food sources. Which we just did. The community needed dedicated farms. Oh yes, of course. So we have to build three farms. Now, notice how these guys are just standing here. So they're, you know, these are idle workers. That's not good. I learned that a control period will select all the idle workers. See, these are all the idle workers. So let's build three farms. Here's the farm. Okay, one. Yeah, work end day. Two. And three. Let's build three farms. Yeah. 
Your Which granddaughter loves your avatar. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Now we have to explore the wilderness. Further growth required knowing the countryside and finding more resources. Oh, yes, For of that, course. Communities employed scouts. Scouts, mind you. Sounds like there's dirty work afoot. Okay, let's produce a scout. See, so we could do more villagers because we have room for 30 more people, but let's make a scout, like it said. So it's a light cavalry, and it doesn't really do a very good job. Its job is to explore, not to fight. So let's produce one cavalry. There it is. Able to move quickly and see great distances, Scouts were key to discovering new resources. Absolutely. The most important thing for a scout to locate was a ready source of gold. Oh. Okay, a ready source of... Well, let's locate a gold vein. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, why don't we go over here? See, you, you, or you could click here. You can also click on the map and it will send her... Oh, that's like a barrier. Well, that doesn't look like the right place to find gold. Okay. Fine. Let's let's uh, click over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. All right. Meanwhile, uh, who is idle? See, we have to see. We have to find if anyone is idle. There we go. There's one, one villager who's idle. So why don't we make one more field? Yep. Work end day. Oh, there's gold. Wah wah yaga, waka chaka yaga, waggy. Um, okay, now let us. Uh, yeah, now it says locate a gold vein. Well, we did. There it is, right there. There, there we go. We'll have her kind of like to keep watch. All large distances, expanding communities would establish a mining camp near the source of gold. Oh yes, that's exactly what I would do. Okay, now watch this. I can have people go straight over there once we produce them. So let's produce like uh, 10 more. Ding, 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 ding. There. See, now we're going to add 10 more villagers. You don't have to do that, but there. Build a mining camp near the gold vein. So the first one that goes out, I'm going to have her build the camp. Let's build the mining camp right next to the gold. Yeah. Work out? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll make sure I work out later. Oh, yeah. They are they like stuffed son they're like stuffed hedgehogs, Sonic the Hedgehogs. Or I mean, Sonic's the Hedgehog. I have 3 Sonic's the Hedgehog. There it is. And now they'll see each one that gets placed camp ensured efficient gold mining. Oh. Well, that'll be easy because I'm sending 10 of them over there. So we now have um, only 16, 17 out of 40. Yeah, we have a lot of extra space now. That's good. Boy, they're exhausting the wood really fast. Eventually, we'll have to put the mill, you know, the wood gold, mill somewhere else. Becoming a large town. Okay, now we advance to the next stage, which is the feudal age. The signpost of this growth would be the construction of a large landmark. Oh, yes. Build a landmark. Okay, let's do it. This is how you advance to the feudal age. You have to build an abbey of kings. Heals all nearby out-of-combat units by two every one and a half seconds. Well, then let's put it somewhere near the town, obviously, right? Like, how about here? Yeah. So you can't really rotate the buildings, you know, it's a square grid, but still that's okay. That's pretty normal for real-time strategy. You kind of want things to fit in the most efficient way possible. So maybe it's not quite as aesthetic as like settlers, you know, the settlers, where you can totally rotate and decide exactly where to put your buildings. But um, this is still sufficient, you know, it'll suffice. I did see in the screenshots that 
you know, that the villages have like staggered and like different position buildings. But I think those are the pre, those are the pre-generated buildings in the campaign, I think. You know, there's a single player campaign to this game. There's a whole set of quests to complete, which are fun. Um, and then there's the matching, you know, the real-time strategy matches, player versus player. Hmm. See, it's taking him a long while to build this. I could put more people on this, but he's almost done building it, so. There it is. La! Dong! Dong! With the landmark in place, the once sleepy village announced it. <laughs> sleepy village. A thriving feudal township. Oh, that's the just townsfolk lovely. townsfolk had been driven from their homes before, however. Oh, shit. This time, they would defend themselves. I would defend myself, too. Okay, only one villager can work each farm. To increase food supply, build more farms. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we are... Uh, what we're doing, we're producing 180 food per minute. So currently, we're fine. We're producing a lot of wood. We're producing a lot of gold. So now what it, okay, now it says build a barracks. Okay, we'll build a barracks. Let's, let's build just two more workers. And then once they come out, we'll have them build the barracks. I guess the barracks could be outside town. We should bring the barracks outside town a little bit. That's what I typically do, like somewhere out here. Where's the barracks? Oh shit, I don't, oh, there they are, the barracks. Right by the side of the road there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then once they're done building that, I'm going to build one more farm. There. See? And now I'll have him out work on that farm. The town could establish a standing force of soldiers. Oh, yes. Simple infantrymen armed with spears were a common choice for these militias. Yeah, I think it's for PC, Xbox uh, One, and Xbox X, SX, or, you know, the new generation. Xbox SSXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
the militia could burn down the obstacle with mm -hmm. torches. Yeah, with torches. Well, how do you make torches? Uh, yeah, does someone want to tell me how to actually make the torches? Boy, we're going to run out of gold before too long. Oh, I'm not sure. D could somebody verify that? Um, Age of Empires, whoops, Age of Empires uh, 4. Um, uh, PlayStation. No. It's only uh, Xbox and PC. Okay, so this is a couple of what. Watch this. There's your tips. To attack the Palisade, select your spearman and right click on it. That right click is the same as attack. Now, you could double left click on a spearman to select all the units that we see on the screen currently. So, all the spear. If I double. There, I just selected 10. See? 10 spearmen. Gotta waka yaka chaka. Okay, let's uh, send them over. Now, you can also uh, add a control group. So I'm going to do control one, la, there, see, it even shows one above them now. So if I just type in the number one, la, waka yaka chaka, see, it selects all the spearmen. So let's get over here. <laughs> do you hear them talking to each other? It's cute. You start hearing some really cool uh, ambient uh, sounds once you have a big village. Okay, so let's attack the palisade. Oh, they already have the, they already have it. Oh, yeah. Weird, I can't really uh, zoom in much more than this. Wouldn't you think you could zoom in more? There, we got him. With the road open, the militia could now reclaim their lands in the north. Oh, that the lands to the north was ours. To begin with. All First, right then. The spearmen had to deal with a lone sentry. Oh yes, with a lone sentry. Use attack move to eliminate the sentry. Oh. Okay, so we just have to move in front of him and then they'll see him and start attacking, see? Yay! Uh oh, there's another one. Here they come again. Yeah, the pikemen are good against cavalry. See, watch. Ah! Uh, oh wait, they're coming again. Left. Okay, to attack move, left click attack move, then left click on the ground or in the fog of war. I see. Well, I guess they're going to keep coming. Attack move. There. Advancing aggressively, the militia eliminated the enemy sentry. Yeah, no PS5 for uh, Age of Empires 4. Small cavalry camp guarding the road. Oh shit. The militia was ready to attack. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for this yet. Uh, let's build some more. So it doesn't say to do this, but I always like having more units. So let's uh, let's make uh, five more spearmen. Oh, six more, yeah. And now we're going to have to build more houses. So let's uh, swing over here. How are the uh, these guys doing? Weird. Yeah, waka. Can waka. Ch Kanwaka Chigger Attacker. There we go. Good. 36 out of 60. I wish you could zoom in more, though. Oh, well. Okay. So here's what we do. So we already have 10 spearmen in this group. Now, um... There we go. 
Okay, now I'm going to select all the spearmen on the page, but then we're also going to, in addition, do a shift one. There, now we are selecting all 16 of our spearmen, and I'll make that the new group. There it is. So now if I, if I just right click here, that will bring all the spearmen over here. And I can also tell them which direction. See, look at that. See, like I can tell them face this way. And then here come the others in a moment. Where are you? Yeah, here they come. Baka 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 baka. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Okay. So see, it's a combination of building, growing, and ex and then um, attacking and exploiting. The problem is. You have to do it all at the same time, and so that's why you have to learn how to manage everything better as time goes. See, like, um, I have to watch these guys. Um, when I'm doing a multiplayer match, people could come and attack me early, so I have to think about barracks and then guarding my village. If I don't guard the village, they'll come through and just kill everybody. Hey! Why did he not build that. I told him to build. Yeah, you should be building, not standing there. Okay. Now it says, eliminate the enemy horsemen and destroy the enemy stable. Okay, let's do it. Baka 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 Then attack. Here we go. Yeah, we have 16 pikemen. Um, at least most of them should survive. That is a really weird thing they do. They surround the horses when they should be in formation. Oh, wow. Now they're destroying... Yes. Okay, now one another thing is that um, the unit relationships are very important in this game. I mean, unit relationships are everything. Okay. Yeah, unit relationships are pretty, pretty important. So, um, as we learned... Hostile archers defended the next camp. Which would put spearmen at a yes, see, just like I said. So pikemen are effective against cavalry, but arrow archers are very effective against pikemen. And so would need to build stables. Yes. To deploy that cavalry quickly, the town needed to build their stables near the front lines. Yes, absolutely. So the reason that um, cavalry is important against archers is because the cavalry can hit the archers quick. You know, they can run quickly. Oh, we have villagers. Okay. So luckily we don't have to bring our villagers from way over there. So we have to build two stables. Okay. Let's find... There it is. That's a, that's a Civilization two building. Oh, what are you doing? Stop it. So there's one. And then let's put the second one right here. No, back over there. There we go. In place. Yeah, well, they have spears, but the cavalry, I'm not sure what the cavalry will have. So let's produce 15 horsemen. So we're going to double click. So we select both of them. See, now they'll they'll rally right here. Let's do, uh, oh, they also have, yeah, effective at raiding and flanking. I don't know what they have. Okay, let's, we have to make 15 of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll just let's just make a bunch of them. There's our cavalry. It'll take a little while. Uh, we're probably going to need. Oh, they only take up one unit. Okay, good. 
Yeah, I think pretty soon we're going to need more houses. So while... And here they are. Good, they're actually destroying houses. It's too bad we can't just take these over. <laughs> yeah, and then once once all of the um What are you doing? There we go. Why did she stop? Okay, so now we have houses. Um, might as well, since we're, she's right there, we might as well build a little garden right next to it. Okay, now what is this? Yeah, it's too bad that we can't take the uh, camp over. Da 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 da! Yeah, waga yaga chaka waka. The town now had a rapid light cavalry. Yes. Skilled at harassing slower targets, such as archers. Okay. So we produced our cavalry. Let's um control key them to two. So now we have one, two. See? I can just click one and two. So we can uh we'll move them separately, but we'll put them very close to each other. So we have to go up here. Oh shit, there are archers. So yeah, the cavalry will hurry up and um, rush the archers. The pikemen have to be behind the cavalry because the cavalry are effective against the archers, but not... Will you stop? They love, they love killing everything in sight. And I don't know how to tell them to stop that. See, because now they're out of formation. I did not say torch the village. Look at this. Yeah, Raga. Okay, now they have to be in front. Cavalry first. Cavalry first. They move out of the way. Okay. Uh, oh, they're coming. With the pikemen um, very close behind. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, and then the pikemen come, and then they'll attack. They'll kind of get behind, and then attack. There we go. Okay, who's left? Ha 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 ha. The cavalry eliminated the enemy archers. There they go again. To destroying the archery range itself. Yes, we must destroy the archery range. Yep, they're destroying it. There we go. Attack the enemy archery encampment. We finished that. The invaders' archers and their camp were destroyed. A final enemy emplacement remained. Mm -hmm. One fortified with palisades and defended by spearmen. Oh, where? Up here? Defended by spearmen, huh? Now, where is that? To deal with this target, the town would need longbowmen. Oh, First, yes. They needed to build archery ranges in the area regained from the invaders. Uh huh. So we have to build three archery ranges now. So we're going to have archers pretty soon, too. Once more, friendly villagers arrive to help. Oh, oh, lovely. Uh, one of our horses are almost dead. Now, there are ways to heal them. Um, I just don't remember. You know, they'll probably show us how to do that later. Yep. Okay, archery range. Yeah, one. This produces archers. They said three archery ranges? Okay. There. I wonder if they are smart enough to, to move over here once they're done. Probably not, but... Okay. Oh yeah, they are smart enough. But this might be too far for them to... Nope, see, now they're attacking again. I did not say attack, I said build. 
And did the blue guys just destroy that building? Yeah. Yeah, and I can't really get them to stop attacking things. Like, I wish I knew how to tell them to don't attack. See, now here they go again. Now, if I did this and I told them to stop, then what would happen? No, they won't stop. They, they just are addicted to throwing stuff. See, they won't stop. So now we have to produce 20 longbowmen. Oh, good. There, let's put them all over here. You see what I did? I double clicked and it selects all of them. Uh, I'm going to produce 20 and put them all over here. Uh, we do not have enough houses, so we're going to have to um, build some more houses. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I wish you could just say type, you know, add 20. Uh-huh. That's what I thought too. So we're going to we're going to build a few more houses. Stand by. There's one house. Let's build another house right next to it. And then we'll build a few fields right next to it. Yeah, because they don't have anything else to do. There. What are they doing? Look, look. That's hilarious. Oh, we already produced them. Wow. A strong force of archers could eliminate enemy spearmen at a distance. So long as they took the proper position. Yep, they, that's exactly what they're doing. They're destroying things as they come out of the barracks. Okay, so we're going to select all of our longbowmen and put them in three. So now we have one, two, and three. Yeah, Booga Yaga. What a... Now, what's interesting is that we can garrison them. Now watch this. Hey. Oh, you can't garrison them back into the barracks. Okay. Yeah, wow, you guys are real heroes. Okay, let's go. Uh, two, so cavalry will go in front, and then pikemen right behind them. Cavalry in front, pikemen behind, and then um, naturally we would want... Whoops. Okay, and then, cav then pikemen right behind them, and then archers in the back. Remember, archers should always be in the back because they have the greatest range of them all. They just won't stop doing that. So let's go to the next uh, objective, which is Hia. Oh, okay. And to, how do we get over there? Uh, okay, maybe, maybe through here. Oh, let's uh, go here. One, two, three. Yeah, we just have to keep discovering the map. One, two, three. See, and I could hotkey, again, I could hotkey all of them together. Like, I could select my whole army. There's my whole army. Then I hotkey them into zero. Oh, shit. But then that... No, no. Okay, the cavalry. I only want the cavalry for two. One, two, three. Zero. Zero. Three is only archers. There we go. So one, two, three. Zero is our whole army. Let's go. And I think they automatically know where to put every. Yep, yep, they do. Look. They're putting everyone in the right place automatically. The pikemen are behind the cavalry. Hey, exclama oh, exclama Ramosa. Yeah, yeah, Age of Empires was fun. I loved Empire Earth as well. Oh, there it is. There it is. Baka 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 
Okay, it says set up the long bowmen on the cliff top. Oh, up here? Okay. So they'll go up here and then face this way. Da, 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 da. Oh god, here they come. Well, you. Yeah, there. That's how you do it. See? Eliminate the spearmen. Uh, this is actually normally would be very dangerous. You don't loose arrows right into your own army. But luckily. Oh, there they go. Uh -huh. The town could take the next step in its growth and become a powerful medieval city. Here too, the erection of a great landmark would be the signpost of this growth. Yeah, I'm not sure if like Age of Empires. There, there, I think there's like an Age of Empires clone for um, for mobile. I think, but I don't know what they are. Maybe someone else uh, knows what they are. Mr. Milkman might actually know, and he might even play a few of those. Um, or, I mean, maybe one. He might accidentally play one of those real-time strategy games. I don't actually play any of uh, real-time strategy on mobile. What is? What is? Is there like one of the Age of Empires is on mobile? Yeah, there's probably like a different, it's probably called something different. Like Empire of Android Empire or something. Or I, I, I Empire. <laughs> Look, they just destroy everything. Build a second landmark. Oh, okay. Da 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 da. Yeah, waga, yaka chaka. Okay, let's build the landmark over here. Yeah, see, we can now build the White Tower. Absolutely, the White Tower. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if there's any idle workers. Oh, yeah? Kinshaga Owaka. Oh, yeah, there are idle workers. Look, all of the gold workers are out of... Um, a job now so let's give them a lumber camp and put it here and then they'll start chopping wood over here there they go oh boy this will take a while uh, we need one here let's just ding ding there We'll send two more people over here to, um, no, it, this game is not for mobile. Age of Empires 4 is not available on mobile. It's something else. Uh, it, it's probably call. it's probably called something else. Um, yeah, you could check and see. Yeah, and if if there is Age of Empires three available for uh, mobile, it's it's like a souped down version. It's already, I mean, um, like watered down version. Hmm. So that is how it works. That is the tutorial. Oh yeah, in the Age of Empire or um, Empire, or what's it called? Clash of Clans. That is more like an auto attacker. You know, like you build up a camp and then you um, prepare attacks and then it auto attacks and then you can watch the attack but you can't, you can't interact with it, right? 
Hey, Dave the Damon. Oh, no worries. I was just teaching people how the basics of the game. So there is a guide to hotkeys. Uh, let's look at the hotkeys really quick. Oh, it goes to a website, which you can't see now. Okay. Tutorials. No. Learn the basics. Intro tutorial. Okay, explore the tech trees. Yeah, okay, so here are the different, there are uh, one, two, three, six, seven, eight different civilizations. I think we were doing the French, right? I think we were doing the French. Now there's the Holy Roman Empire. Let's start with English. Oh. Exceptional early infantry provide the English with a powerful punch backed by reliable food production from the fields. But what about their longbowmen? The longbowmen were like really good in the um, um, British Army. Town center house, yeah. So you, everyone gets these. Oh, there's a dock too, yeah. Remember, there's a water um, component. There's palisades, an outpost, a council hall, an abbey of kings. Now here's a town center, and then the yeah the next um, age you get a town center, a market, blacksmith, battering ram, siege tower, archery ranch, stable, stone wall, keep siege works up, Berkshire Palace and Wingard Palace, and then a university, and a cathedral of Saint Thomas. Their unique unit, longbowman, longer range archer that can deploy uh, defensive palings, making them more effective against cavalry. That's their unique unit. Each division, each civilization seems to have its own unique unit. Difficulty one, oh, I see. And then different civilizations have different difficulties. Chinese is very difficult. Now, why is that? They can shift the focus across the ages, deploying many unique units and building rapidly. Enemies must continually adapt if they want to keep up. Fire medicine. Oh shit. Oh yeah, like fireworks. They launch fireworks. Repeater crossbowmen. Wow, light cavalry unit. Grenade, there it is, throws grenades, capable of doing area, and the nest of bees, fire a barrage of rocket, rockets, doing area of effect damage. See, it's like fireworks, army. Yeah, I can guarantee you this will be a really big hit in Korea. Like all of the Age of Empires, a lot of the real-time strategy has like a really big player base in Korea, and they get to it on like uh, tournament and um, competition levels, and there's like uh, paid tournaments. Yeah, all the time. It's like Korea. Look at all that stuff. Okay, so that's the Chinese. There's the French, which we played, right? Their unique stuff, uh, battle with improved cavalry units, wielding more powerful weaponry and technologies. They don't, oh, there's their unique units. Royal Knigget gains bonus damage for three seconds after complete. And then there's an Arbalatrier who does Arbalist. It's like a, a Pavis that provides five ranged armor for 30 seconds and a, a galley ass. We'll have to find out how to pronounce that. Let's call him a galley ass for now. Large war galley that has a long range forward mounted bombard. Wow. That's like a trebuchet. The Holy Roman Empire. Prelates enhance the, um, the economy of the Holy Roman Empire while powerful infantry units form the core of its military. Army of the Empire, religious zeal, influence, out. where is their unique units? Yeah, a prelate or a prelate. Provides holy inspiration to villagers, making them work 40% faster. And there's a Landsnecht, which is light infantry with a large two-handed sword. Wow. Mongols, the Rus. These are like the uh, Belarusian and Polish army. This is cavalry. So their unique one is cavalry, I bet. No. Logia ships can be converted into any type of ship. Oh, now that's cool. It, monks inspire nearby units when in combat, providing bonus armor and damage. And a Streltsy gunpowder unit, which gets stronger when stationary. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, and then the Abbasid dynasty, that's Middle Eastern. Wow. It's a lot, a lot to learn here. Produces the camel archer and the camel rider. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so what do we do here now? Uh, why don't we... New to age? Here is where... Oh, look. No, it says view on website. Oh, they love their websites. Why don't you just put it in here so we can see it? Check out our videos. View on website. Okay. Code of conduct. View on website. Okay. Let's learn. Well, we were learning. Okay. Colby House, level five. Group. Yeah, see, this is where it... Wow. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. There's achievements. There's masteries. You know, all that kind of thing. Okay, so we could... Um, Welcome. Welcome to Age of Empires. Yeah. Go to the website. Okay, let's start with single player. Whoa. Shall we start? Yeah, so this is a, um, there's three different modes. There's the campaign, and we're going to try a campaign now, which is single player. It's like the story. And we'll start in the Battle of Hastings. Okay. Uh, you can also do, then we'll do a match. I don't think we're going to do any players today, actual humans, but you, you can play against the AI. And then you can choose how smart or dumb the AI is. And we'll do that. Okay, but let's do a campaign now. Yeah, see, and then here's the skirmish. See, you can create a game, and then you can put um, AI. There it is, AI teammates against AI opponents. See, so you could do three versus three, and that way, you know, there's three different civilizations. Two of them are on your side, and then you're battling three others, but they're all... AI except you see so you could do there's see there's actually a bunch of different modes you could just do one versus one against the computer if you wanted you can do um, see or you could create a custom game what is this the art of war late economy basic combat early siege late siege Okay, let's go. Let's start with the campaign. Uh, let's start the mission. See, because by doing these campaigns, we'll learn more about. We'll learn more about the game. So let's start. For those new to real-time strategy or looking for a light challenge, the enemy probes your defenses and typically mounts only single attacks. Intermediate, for those familiar with real-time strategy and looking for a strategic challenge, the enemy tests defenses and mounts multiple simultaneous attacks. Oh, shit. As it is meant to be played. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's go with easy just because it's the first campaign. And then we'll switch to intermediate. Yeah, I don't want to, like get ass handed to me by the AI. Some events leave a deep mark on oh, it's a raven end. But not on the land. Sunlack Hill, England. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. Oh, good. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. I see. Oh, yes? Uh, 3D overlay on, a, like, real footage. That's cute. That's not how the game works, but, yeah. October 14, 1066. Uh-huh. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. Oh, yeah? The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. I see. It shows the main players. Harold, 
the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England and his challenger, William, Duke of Norway. Yeah, it was England versus France. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we're going to do that just so, so we can enjoy it more and learn it together. And then we'll go intermediate. To fight <coughs> Because I don't have all the keys memorized yet. But a storm thwarted his plans. This is a big intro. Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown. Oh shit. The Normans, the Vikings. Oh shit. Yeah, and there were times when Vikings and Normans were attacking at the same time, or they were fighting on... See, that's two fronts. Who learned the hard way not to attack on two fronts at once? His name starts with H. Hitler has only got one ball. Gilling how two but very small. Oh, yes. Leaving the north open to attack. On this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo Saxon men. There, that's the way you use archers. Like that. Uh huh. The Battle of Hastings. Okay, let's do it. The Battle of Hastings. Uh, yeah, William of Normandy began his conquest of England, but to end the Anglo-Saxon rule, he would first have to kill their king. Good luck with that. I forgot that happened in the Dark Ages. We're in the Dark Ages. 1066 is right in the Dark Ages. Yeah, we're uh, hey Don Brian. Yeah, we're just learning the game at the moment, so I'm taking people through campaigns and just casually having fun and learning the game on easy mode at the moment. Okay, so we'll start with, uh, and then we're doing a mission. These are the single player content that's available in the game, so I figured we'd try it out. Uh, we're about to recreate the Battle of Hastings. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh God, I have to. October 14th, 1066. William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon Oh good, army. we have the high ground. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Guess who else had the high ground? Hello there. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, pull it together or we're going to die. Okay, uh, what does it say? Attack Harold Saxon army. So obviously the first thing we do is make sure everyone is in the right position. Whoa. Okay, we have... Um... Hello? Oh shit. That No, we don't have the high ground. We have the low ground. Oh, oh shit okay uh this is not good they don't seem to have any archers though do they oh they do they have some archers see we can't even select it because we're not supposed to know what they are uh we have some archers oh i see it's only letting us we can only control these guys just those guys look here's different formations look wedge formation tight formation staggered formation and uh, wedge formation um, I think against uh, pikes and these guys what are they spearmen uh, it seems like a uh, tight pattern would be good so what uh, yeah and that's what's already selected oh god Okay, well. Made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. 
Uh, I'm not sure this is a great idea, guys. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I see. Uh-huh. So they have a wall of shields right there. Uh huh. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for. Okay, a retreat! Ah! Feigner retreat! Da 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 da! The retreat was working. The Anglo Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Oh, really? It was a feigned retreat. Oh, shit! This is a little confusing. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with all these different units? They keep, they keep giving me units and then taking them away. Don't do that. There. Go back up there. Uh huh. But look at this. Look what's behind them. Kill the Saxons from the shield wall. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's select everybody and assign them one. Uh-huh. Okay, now what? Kill the Saxons from the shield wall. Well, we're still doing that. There, hurry up. Get over there. Okay, the Norman archer's ready. Oh, God. Oh yeah, we are ready. Oh, the spearmen, okay. Uh oh. Shoot. Loose. Archers can attack units at a range, but are vulnerable to melee. Of course, we knew that. Um, you might you guys might want to kill these guys. And why are they just sitting there waiting? Because I don't have control over them yet. Okay, this is not good. Why don't you guys get down here? There. Now we have these guys. Why don't we send arrows right into the crowd? Well, now who are these guys? See, they keep adding people randomly, and um, it can... Rescue your leader. Okay, fine. How do I do that? Use archers against enemy spearmen. I am! Injured leader. Where's the archers? Yeah, against the spearmen. Well, those look like pikemen. Actually, all archers. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. There. There we go. Oh, more archers. See? Well, where were they? Were they sleeping or what? Yeah, Romans had that two-layer shield wall. Remember that? Like whenever the, uh, they'd be uh, loose, whenever they'd loose arrows, they'd have those two layers that would protect them like a canopy. Oh God! See? They're, oh no! Oh no! Fall back! Ah! There! Attack! I can't get them to leave the archers alone. Get away! Get away from me! There they go. Now, attack. Attack, attack. Let's see, how are we doing? Uh, let's have everyone attack. See, now we get more... Uh, what are these? Heavy melee infantry. Yeah, let's do that. Baka, 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 baka. You know, I'm just like randomly assigning people everywhere, and that's not a good idea. Here comes some more random people. See, how can you manage a battle when people just keep coming and going? Oh, look, here's some more now. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Yeah, see, we have our cavalry back. Where is Wilhelm? 
select a unit and right click on William to revive them. Okay, there. We have to revive. Revive William. La! Da 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 Oh, shit. We need to select all these guys and then attack. Come on. There we go. Nope, and there's here comes some more. See, they keep adding archers and everything. How am I supposed to know who's coming and who's going? Oh shit! That's a... Uh, that was King William, or Duke William. Oh, come on! They were. King Harold? Oh, yeah. Slay King Harold. Oh, there he is over there. Well, let's uh, concentrate there. As soon as we take these guys out, then we'll send everybody over there. Let's send everybody over there. Uh huh. What is? He, what are they waiting for? Buck -a -buck -a -buck -a -buck. Oh God! Do we have anyone left? Oh, see, we have even more units now. Okay. Oh, hurry up! Yeah, we're gonna kill King Harold. I think it's time to like. We can specifically. There he is. There he is. Attack King Harold. Oh, here comes some more. See, it's kind of like we have an unlimited supply of random units. Hurry up! This is, uh, there's our Duke. Yeah, we... What is he doing? Okay, why don't we all rush King Harold? You left him undefended. Look, they just ran away from him. Any more? Yep, we got more units. That's funny how they just keep giving us more and more. There, we killed him. Ah! The Anglo Saxon King Harold had fallen. Mm -hmm. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death. See? And that's a route. That's called routing. We are routed. Fall back. Oh. There. Well, that was kind of fun. Uh, we didn't learn much about the game, and I didn't do a good job separating the units because they kept giving me more units. The last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. Oh. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. All that death just because kings want to rule the other, the land next to them. Well, victory, yeah, because you kept giving me unlimited units. That doesn't really happen in battle normally. Um, building a castle, eh? At Guédelon in France, okay. to understand how castles were constructed, mm -hmm. they're building one from scratch. Oh, yes? Using just the tools and materials of the medieval age. Oh, that's cool. They're actually building a castle the way that they would have had to have done in the medieval ages. Building a castle. Let's watch this. The most important defensive feature of any castle uh -huh. was the wall. Because we are going to have to build a castle. Yep, that's where I got it. We are routed. Fall back. With towers. In earlier Norman castles, they were square. Yeah, which is not very efficient. European knights saw that eastern towers were round. Well, a little better. They realized that eliminating corners not only made them stronger, mm -hmm. but also provided a better view of the surroundings. Yeah, and sometimes it was in a star configuration too, like it'd be many different angles, which which um, improved coverage. 
good supply of local stone close to the castle was vital. Mm -hmm. To extract it from the quarry, first a row of holes is hand drilled. Okay, I think this is a long video. Uh -huh. The stone is split into usable blocks, then transported using horsepower, horsepower. and human effort and slashing through mud for three years straight. Ah, did you see that? The hamster wheel? That is funny. Yeah, they had a pulley mechanism and gear reduction, and they would they would just walk on that treadmill, and that would raise the rocks up. <laughs> Mud, essentially. Yeah, see, the tra there's the trebuchet. There are trebuchet units in the game, so we'll learn how to use those. Sandstone is too hard to be carved into intricate windows, vaults, and steps. Mm -hmm. Instead, softer, more expensive limestone is used. Oh shit. These sophisticated building techniques make castles the ultimate feats of medieval engineering. Mm -hmm. It's a testament to their construction. That is pretty so cool, isn't it? Stand today. Yep, aliens for sure. Yeah, really, that's how that's how all these castles got built, is aliens. Okay, the Norman Conquest. Oh, these are videos, I see. Nova Stella, a page from history. Okay, let's continue. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. And that was, uh... The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here. Mm -hmm. On England's south coast, his army defeated by William of Normandy. Oh no! Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. Uh huh. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day, 1066. Oh wow! Westminster was, was built way back. I mean, way back then, Westminster Abbey existed. Now I keep forgetting that. Those ancient Dark Age monasteries. Building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice castle. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. Mm -hmm. They reminded the Anglo Saxon population exactly who was in charge. <laughs> but not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. Oh good, now we're going to do a revolt. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. Mm -hmm. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. Oh good. The north of England. Yes, the Scots. The Sc I think we're going to take over the Scots. A group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Ah. I vaguely remember that. Mm -hmm. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. <laughs> A thousand years before the Romans were there. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? Yeah, they're not in very good formation while they were marching. I see, so we're going to ambush them. So this is going to be there. Fraught with resistance from those opposed to Norman rule. So. To capture a town, you must defeat all the enemy forces within the red circle marker. Okay, we'll remember that. You know, in the game, I think you can actually take over. I think you can take over buildings. I'm not sure if you can or not. I think you can. 
Some enemies request resources in order to stop their attacks. Whether you attack them, pay them. I didn't get a chance to read that. Always build up your forces. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, this is a battle game, so we do have to keep remember to build up our army. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. Mm -hmm. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. Ooh, capture mid up the rip. Okay. Uh, let's get our cavalry. Uh, what is this? Oh, scouts. Okay. Um, let's uh, give him four. Cavalry will be one. These are pikemen. They'll be two. And then are these archers? Yeah, longbowmen will be three. Uh, and then we need King William uh, hotkey to five. There it is. So one, two, three, four, five. That's how it works. See? And it even reminds you of uh, the hotkey by what's over their head. See? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we will one, two, three, four, five, zero. No, it you can't do that. See, now it just screwed up all my other... It screwed everything up. Oh, why does the game do that? That is so stupid. How damn stupid is that? That's not what I wanted. Okay. One. Two. Four. And then just five. There we go. See, that's what I wanted. I don't know why it has such a hard time understanding that, but okay. Okay, let's go. We have to capture Middlethrope. And where is Middlethrope? It's, uh, where is it? Here? Okay. See, it doesn't really give you. Um, tell you how to do all that, so you kind of have to learn it yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Here they go. That's our whole army. You saw them filming on a beach not too far from me? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Vikings. Is, uh, what was Vikings? Is that on HBO or is that on a certain channel? Okay, yeah, and that is all of our forces right there. And you see how even if the map is slightly revealed, this is the fog of war. Like, we can't see. We've discovered this map, but we don't know what's happening down here now because it's the fog of war. Uh-oh, sentry butts. It's a militia. What's good? Yeah, cavalry is good against militia. Uh oh. Oh no, archers. Oh, we need cavalry for the archers. No. One. Oh no, I sent the pikemen. Ah! Never mind. Yeah, and then we'll we'll attack uh, these guys with our archers. There we go. Then pikemen right behind, scouts, and then our leader. Get in there, leader. Not much of a leader if he's not fighting. There we go. Okay, now we need to get uh, one. The, see, look, look. Actually, one. All of them. Over here. Over here. We are losing a little bit of uh, our army, so we have to watch it. Capture Middlethrope. Oh, good. There. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Absolutely. 
Okay, so did you see what just happened? Um, we took over the town and everything became ours, including the villagers. That's what I was wondering. And yes, you can take over uh, buildings. It just depends. And I think that's even an option or like something you can choose as part of your match. Okay, so now we have to, let's see, build four additional farms. That's what I was going to do, actually. Now that we, so one, two, Three. Uh huh. And then we'll build a mill right next to it. Let's build the mill like right here. That way it'll cover it'll cover a few of them. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna take a while, so. Oh yeah, remember, feel free to say hi, everybody. Um, we're going to be streaming for another one hour and 15 minutes, so we'll keep doing this campaign. And then after this, we'll do one match. It's an AI match from scratch. And then I'll show you how those work. And that'll be my first match, real-time strategy match in 10 years. So who knows how that's going to go, but hey, we'll see. Da, 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 da. Look, it will put everybody in the proper order. Look at that. It's kind of neat, huh? See? And it put our leader in the back. That kind of makes sense. It put the cavalry in the front, archers in the rear, and pikemen in the middle. That's how, that's the standard formation. You see how I do that? If I want them to face this way, they will. Okay. So there. Now they are making food. Now, assign five villagers to chop wood. Okay, fine. We'll make villagers because we... One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll send them directly over to the wood. Yeah, there we go. I don't think they have a lumber camp. So the first one that comes out, we'll actually have him make a lumber camp. Oh, hurry up. This is taking forever. There. There it is, uh, lumber camp. Build it. Oh, whoops, I chopped down a tree. Yeah, they are growing wheat. Yeah. Oh, there's a new one called Norsemen. The Norsemen is like a comedy version. Yeah, that's cute. Like, we all need a comedy uh, series in a big genre like even Star Trek has a comedy now it's called Lower Decks it's like an animated comedy it's cute okay there's our lumber mill or lumber camp they call it a lumber camp why in the hell okay now we uh, yeah assign five villagers to chop wood we're, we're getting there we're almost there see I'm having them go directly to you can have them go directly to wood. Or I could just have them go directly to the lumber camp and then that, that will mean, hey, uh, chop wood. Oh look, it's an elk. You can uh, harvest him for food. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could um, have an archer. Watch this. Watch this. Whoops, that was a pikeman. Hey, hey, hey. I think that was one of their scouts. There, we just killed him. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's... Yeah, I'm glad that they are on the lookout here. Let's keep them, like, in formation, ready to attack. Okay, uh, come on. Chop wood. Almost. Oh. What happened to the fifth one? Okay, now assign five villagers to chop wood and build two additional houses. Yeah, that's what I would do too. Okay. Is everybody busy over here? Yeah. Come on. There, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna assign one more over here, actually two more, and now I'm gonna have her build a house. 
ding, ding, there. I'll just build two houses right there. Oh, you have to, uh, okay, near 1 a.m., got to go. All right, we'll see you next time, Stefan. Yes, uh, Stefan was sick earlier. He had um, he had a uh, uh, like flu or COVID complications again, or I don't know if again, but yeah, that's not fun, is it? Okay. Uh, I don't know who's working on what. Let's see. One, two. There we go. Build two additional houses and then assign five villagers to chop wood. Why is it so hard to get people to chop wood? They're not doing what I told them to do. They were just standing there at the lumber mill, like, duh, what do the we do? The army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Yes. Now, reinforcements have arrived. See, like, where do these reinforcements come from? Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Air. So we have to capture Fulford. Okay, this is where it gets uh, dorky again. See, so I'm going to... So I have more cavalry now, so I'm going to assign all the cavalry together. See? So we have the cavalry. But some of them are not hotkeyed to my all command. See? So if I do this... If I do this, it's supposed to, there. Zero, one. Okay, so that's the cavalry. And then two is um, all the pikemen. But not all the pikemen not all the pikemen are on to like they're supposed to be. Yeah, I guess um, you just cannot assign them to more than one hotkey, I guess. Either that or it's bugged out. Yeah, so our cavalry is over here. Those are the scouts. Actually, let's scout. Let's scout. About. Oh, look, there's a puppy. Now, where did he come from? Oh, herdable sheep. To hurt it. Sheep will automatically follow any scouts. Dead sheep provide food that can be gathered by villagers. Okay, fine. Um, then the archers. This is really weird. So does that make it Colby's houses or Colby? Oh, no one told me. Shit, 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 shit. Luckily, it wasn't really in the way, but I need to... It was like two hours before any of us noticed. Okay. Yep, I should have turned it off. I, do, I don't like it on. If anyone is wondering, do I want the C on? No, I don't. Hey, um, you know what? No, not a single drop frame. Now, I did improve some settings in OBS, but it could also be that just the time of day that I'm streaming, you know, and Twitch's transcoder isn't overloaded. Almost no drop frames. That's really good to hear. Yeah, I've noticed that everything has been super smooth. Let's take a look at our frame rate. 30? What do you mean 30? It's not 30, it should be 60. I guess it only runs, the game only runs at 30 frames a second. That doesn't seem right. Okay. Yeah, so all the archers should be on three. Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo. Nintendo. And then. All the pikemen should be on two. Uh, who are these guys that aren't assigned? Vanguard man at arms. What the hell are those? Six. 
There it is. So all of them. See now, this is the this is where it gets weird. If I select them all again and assign them all to zero, see now it's working. All of a sudden it's working properly. It wasn't working earlier. Yeah. So zero. There's the whole army. Capture Fulford. Oh, uh, you know we could build barracks and add more cavalry. How much? How much cavalry do? Uh, I think we should have more cavalry. Oh shit! Oh boy, there are people ahead. Those are like sentry butts. Attack! Yeah, attack! Rah! There's somebody over there too. Oh, archers. Okay, let's attack. Especially, yeah, especially these guys first. Get the archers. Attack. Yeah, luckily the sea was almost never in the way, right? Because it's almost always like uh, darkened. It was like really dark out there in the upper right. Good. Okay, let's build just a few more cavalry. Uh, why don't we add, let's see, 81 out of 110. We'll add three more people, and they will build a... Let's build a barracks. Or maybe we need to build a stable. Oh, shit. They didn't give it to us. Oh, I see what we have to do. We, um, we can't level up. We can't build it because we need gold and we only have 150 gold to reach level two. That's where the stable is. So we can't actually add to our cavalry right now. And I don't know where gold is. I don't want to search for gold. Let's, let's just work on capturing Fulford. Ready? 50 cents bust of boings. Wow. Uh-huh. It's starting to sound more like French, actually. Cavalry in the front. There we go. Now they're in the right order. But look at our cavalrymen. Some are almost dead. I don't know how to fix that. Command. Yes. And if it... Um, the shortcut number group, it is really important. And... If it's malfunctioning, then that's a real problem. Oh, God. Let's start with uh, killing the villagers. I love killing villagers. Where do you think you're going? Into the village. Oh, I guess... Oh, they shut the door. Oh, shit. We're, we're kind of... Uh, this is not good. Yeah. Let's kill everybody out here first. Okay, now the cavalry need to um, get the archers. And then everybody else over here. Yeah, let's just go over there. Get the archers first. Oh, God, I think our cavalry's dead. Oh, shit. Get over there. Come on. I think we'll have enough. We probably should have built more uh, infantrymen. Are you kidding me? All that's left are archers. Yeah, when the archers are the only ones left. <laughs> yeah, for Frodo. For Dildo. There, we captured. Fulford, um, we we get a town center out of that. William was one step closer to York. Oh yes. Build up support for your army. Finally, now we get to do it. Okay. Uh, he would face strong resistance in the city. William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Uh huh. So we will position our entire army out of the gate facing this way and the gate is currently unlocked so they'll just walk right through it or it should open up and then they should walk through it plop see <laughs> they're all trying to smash through squeeze through okay 
So uh, first thing we need to do is gather food and gourd to construct a landmark. Yes, there's our gold mine. I knew what would give it to us. Uh, yeah, let's start with mining gold. Uh-huh, Yaku. I think after they mine, after they build the mine, they'll automatically, oh, guess what was right next to it? I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, waka chaka. There they go. Now they're all mining. Uh, we are going to produce more uh, people. We have a lot of free space now. Look at that. Let's actually just keep making a bunch of them there. Can't hurt. Uh, what is this? It's a market. Ooh, I see. We can convert stuff to other stuff. Holy shit, that's amazing. That's what the market is for. It converts resources into others. Okay, we're going to advance. Uh, we can build the Abbey of Kings. Heals all nearby out of combat units. That's what we need. That's what we need. Because half of them are dead. Mm -hmm. You go over, actually, let's send them all over here because this takes a while to build. See, you can send them directly into something that's being built. Conchigo Bubu Yaga. Uh, I love their language. It sounds like a smattering of French and um, a gobbledygook kaka. Even though the town names are clearly English, full foot. They should speak in uh, Middle English at least. It'd be Middle English that they would speak. So why don't you say it? Den Pilgrimage. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. Oh shit, not the Danes. Oh no, oh shit. They didn't tell me the Danes were coming. Oh shit. Oh no, they're destroying. This is not good. Uh, why don't we get the horses over here? I need the horses over here, guys. There we go. Attack. Uh, what is wrong with this? Oh. William's army held back the Danes' attack. Attacks while garrisoned. We have to garrison some archers in this building. Stop. There we go. There. Now the archers are garrisoned. See, that's how you garrison this building. Use the tribute panel to send gold to the Danes. Oh. We have to bribe them not to attack us? Okay. So now we're going to send everybody over here so they will heal. See, so anyone who is low on health, they're going to heal now. Now watch this. Oh boy. What happened to our cavalry? Oh, the cavalry's all gone. There. See, they're out of, they're healing. There it goes. Ah. Okay. It shows that we have King William, nine man at arms, three spearmen, and 22 archers. So we need, yeah, we really need to get the stable going. Oh, uh, yeah. All of the idle workers can come over here. And we're going to build a stable. Let's build two stables, actually. Yeah. And then build another stable. We could build a... What are we building? Yeah, build a stable to produce horsemen. We are. It takes a little while, but they'll do it. Then after they're done, see now they know to build the second one. 
Auga. Oh, more reinforcements. William's reinforcements from the south had arrived. Oh, good. Vital numbers to his Norman army. Yeah, we have to. Uh... <laughs> well, that gave us a nice little push. We have new cavalry, and what are these guys? Well, those are um, man at arms. Oh, hurry up. Oh, wait. Forces under attack. Oh, you sons of bitches. Well, at least we're all fully healed, so let's attack. Spearman. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't done. I really have to learn how to uh, hotkey these. Yep, the green means they're healing. So this is the whole army. Let's at least get them on zero. There we go. Okay, now what are these? Cavalry. Uh, spearmen. Uh, we have, and then these are archers. Yeah, where are the archers? So. Oh yeah, then there's uh, a few more out. They're garrisoned in that um, tower. Uh, okay, first thing we need to do is start producing horsemen. Uh, they take 110, yeah, we have enough. I like horsemen, so let's build a bunch of them. Hurry up. This will take a while, but we'll get them. We'll build up our cavalry again. Um, who are these guys? What were they? How were we hotkeyed them before? I think that was number four. Yeah, four. <gasps> four. Now! See, they did it again. Actually, let's see. Are these guys all man-at-arms? Yep, they are. Okay. Oh, we probably need more archers. Don't, nope, we don't need more archers. We have quite enough. Uh, what? Uh, maybe we could uh, afford a few more archers. All the idle workers, please come here. Yeah, we'll do an archery range here. And we'll just produce a bunch of archers. How's this technology to improve melee infantry and cavalry? Oh yeah, let's make a blacksmith. Kunkaka. And let's do another 15 of these. There we go. We can only queue up so many at once. Okay, the blacksmith. What do we do here? Increase the melee damage of all non-siege units by plus one. These are research. See? Fitted leatherwork. Increase the melee armor of all non-siege units by one. Melee and ranged infantry can construct siege towers and battering rams in the field. Oh wow, they can actually create... It's amazing! There, let's queue up those two. We don't have to worry about the third one right now. Okay, I think you guys need to... Yeah, all of the idle ones should go here. And then we'll send a few of them over to the uh, to the woods. Over here. Wait a minute, where'd they come from? You motherfuckers. Here we go. How dare you. And look, they're, uh, they are attacking. Um, they're garrisoned in here, and they're attacking. Uh, what I don't know how to do... What are you doing? They're running away or something. God, where are you guys going? Okay, okay, they're, they're trying to uh, distract us. I know, I've been there before. 
I know what you're doing, you idiots. Okay, we've got horses. Uh-huh. Nice. That's one. Okay. Now let's look at our full cavalry. Should be really big now. Oh, there's more coming out. There, I think that's all. See, so now I type in one. We have 26 horsemen. I add these two. Now that's 28. And there's our... There it is. And then our longbowmen were number three. So if I click all these guys and then add them to um, number three. No. Two, three. And then I have to hold down shift, I think. There, 32. There we go. That's a nice cavalry, I think. Uh, one, two. Man, yeah, I have to learn these hotkeys better. Uh, so far, I'm not doing a good job. And we're going to die. So if we do one, here, here. Where's a good uh, staging area? Right here. One. Actually, Let's find out everyone who's already hotkeyed and anyone who isn't, we're going to have to add to the zero. See, like these guys. Three, 30 archers. Well, how many more archers are coming up? I think that's it. One more archer. There, 36, three. Out. Uh-huh. Then we select this. There. And that's screwed up. See, it screwed everything up again. There's like some kind of bug to where you can't do what I want to do. See, every... Look. Like this guy is 0, 3, 4, 6. I don't know how that happened. That's like a bug. Yeah, you can patch up the hole in the wall by adding a gate. Yeah, we should probably add palisades. I don't know how to build the palisades yet. Oh, there it is. Here, let's do that. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's patch. We'll take one person to do that. Uh, let's make a gate here. Hey, it's not letting me do it. Oh, you have to build it uh, on a palisade segment. There we go. Oh, so you build it first. I see. Yeah, Kukuyaga. Here, let's get one or two people over here just to... Uh... Yeah, look at this mess now. It's a big, messy, sloppy disaster again. Yeah, all the ones... zero. If I do zero, that should be the entire army, which it is. Hmm. The Abbey doesn't even do anything. Okay. This doesn't look like our whole army. See, what I wanted to do is Where's the, okay, the whole cavalry should just be on one. That's it. What are these guys? The spearmen. Where's the damn spearmen? Uh, hello? There they are. Just two. Uh, and then the... Archer, see, they turn three into zero. These are supposed to be just the archers. No, I mean these guys. Here. They are the archers. And then these guys are only four. And then um, we have King Verharm, who's five. He's already correct. And then six is supposed to be just the scouts. 
I don't know how to free up. Doop. There we go. Okay, there. Now it's correct again. But um, see, if there's this problem during a real-time match, then I'd spend all my time just trying to fix that bug or whatever it is, and then I would lose. So I have to learn what the, how the hell to do that. Ah, yeah. Okay. Did anybody die? Nope, I think it was all theirs. Yeah, they all... They died, but we didn't. Okay, now we have to heal really quick. Here comes the army. Doesn't seem like we have that many people, but we do. I mean, we have tons of cavalry. Send go or destroy the dang camp. Okay, audience boat. Yeah, uh, we'll just do the, the pull right here. Control A. Yeah, that that selects everything on the page. Oh god, they just exhausted the gold. Okay, uh Sir Fezzi says destroy. And I guess this is them, right? This must be the Yep, the Dane camp. He, they're actually pretty close. So, I think we could survive the attack. Come on, get in there, guys. Like anyone who needs healing. There, everyone's inside the healing zone now. Oh, hurry up. Yeah, this takes a little while, but then they'll heal. Mr. Milkman says destroy. Okay. That's two votes. Let's get out of here. Let's, let's get them. Now, we can't go out this way, but uh, if we build a gate. Aha. Yeah, wagara. We can also build the outpost again. They destroyed the outpost. And will you hurry up? There we go. And now he can go out here and chop wood. Hey, what's up? Who's that? That could be Havan Stevens. If I had to take a guess, it would be Havan. Boy, this is taking a while for that to show up. I must be behind or something. Hey, Havan. I hope you're doing great. That's actually not his real name, but you're not supposed to know his real name. Shh. <laughs> oh, I started streaming at 3 o'clock, so we have um, 45 minutes to go, and then I'm going to end. Yeah, I, I started early because I wanted to get going. Uh, we had quite a nice... Uh, quite a nice little uh, crowd tonight uh, because we wanted to see it. And I will stream this tomorrow also. Yeah, I just wanted to get this going, but um, we learned that there's a bug in the, uh, the control selection, like assigning groups. So here's my cavalry. Here are my 13 spearmen. We don't really have enough of those, but then we have 36 archers. Where? Oh shit. Uh da 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 and they are attacking the gate. Well at least um see, at least we close that gap. Now what is going on with this gate? Left click, yeah, we close the gate. Close main gate. But now they can't get through. Oh shit. Now we can't go through it. I'm not sure that's what I wanted. Oh, tits. Attack. Yeah, they're, they're going to destroy the gate. Will you idiots attack? What? Why is it... So yeah, I said attack. Like three times. Does the gate have room for archers? Well, <laughs> you mean that gate? <laughs> 
<laughs> the gate that just blew up. Yeah, maybe if I do like attack move, that's how you get them over. You, you kind of force them over here, see? Nauga, yeah! Okay, now we have to bring the whole army over here so they can heal. And then we'll attack. Uh, it seems like we need a few more units. It seems like we just don't have enough spearmen. Let's get just a few more spearmen. And here's... No, that's the town center. Do we have a barracks? We ain't got no... Nope, we ain't got none. Shut up. Oh, these villages are all idle. Yeah, let's make a barracks. Kankaka. Oikaka. Uh, barracks. We don't need a market yet. We need barracks. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Barracks, hurry up. Not fast enough. Uh-huh. Get over there. Let's make a lumber mill for them. Uh-huh. And I hope they know to start shopping trees. Okay, are these guys all healed? Yeah, let's produce uh, a few spearmen. Let's see, here's a vanguard matter arms and a spearman. Oh, look at this. Upgrade to harden, upgrade spearmen to harden spearmen. Well, yes, of course we should do that. And then upgrade to early. Uh, Let's get one more barracks going. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get up to speed on this, and I'm not, I'm obviously not ready. Oh, hey! Oh, yeah, well, best thing to do is not, not wait for notifications. I also, um, I mentioned it in Discord, too. You can check Discord, you should, yeah, just, just check when I'm streaming. Um... Yeah, I streamed early because this was released just eight hours ago. Roughly eight hours ago. Well, ten hours ago. Okay, uh, wh what are we doing here? Oh, forces are under attack. Where? Oh, shit. Not again. Well, I forgot to close the gap. Whoops. Get over there, guys. Is it really that hard to figure out how to get over? This is our own town, and they're confused about life. Attack! Attack! Baka 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 baka. Okay, all the villagers that were over there are dead. Uh huh. Okay, do let's upgrade them to early, to early men at arms. Yeah, and what does that do? I don't know what it does. But anyway, you know, I think when it's upgrading, it won't produce any units. So let's uh, do spearmen. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. It won't produce, it has to uh, research the technology first. Oh! Yeah, didn't let you send messages. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Like, I'll be in yours when I'm at the gym, and it says, reconnecting to chat. Reconnecting to chat. Okay, here's, here's a stray archer. Archers are, yeah, number three. So what I would do, I would select him, and then select, and now, see, 37 are selected, now three. And then I'm also going to add these. Now I do 0 and 3. Boop. And that should... Nope. Nope. It fucked it up again. Look at this. Look at this. They're all screwed up again. Uh, either that or the game, you just aren't meant to do that. See, I am not going to redo this over and over and over. Um, spearmen, uh, wait, these are spearmen. 
and these are my spearmen. Okay, so 2, 2, 21, 22, hot key number 2, there. God, this is... Da, 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 da. Okay, I need a few villagers. Okay, you don't all need to be chopping wood. Let's fix this stupid gate. There. There we go. Oh, here they come again. Baka 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 baka. Um, is anyone going to? Yeah. Archers. And these guys are not part of the main group. There. Look at this. Now they're like hot keyed into like four different groups. It's just a mess. I don't know why the game does that, but I need to figure out what's what's wrong. I don't know if that's a bug or it, I'm just not meant to do that. I'll find out later. Like I have to learn more how to play the game. And then tomorrow when we stream it, we'll do matches and we'll do more AI matches and then eventually we'll learn this. Okay, let's put the gate here. Close main gate. I think auto means if it's unlocked, it won't unlock for uh, enemies. I, do, I just don't want this like automatically unlocking. Yeah, Gaga Kukuku Kaka. Whoops. Yeah, hardened spearman. And this was supposed to be the spearman. Two. And then zero. Two, zero. God, this is such a mess. I don't even care. Why don't you guys just screw off? Okay, now we're going to attack. Oh, one of the uh, one of the horses is almost dead, but that's all right. Okay, let's attack the Danes. Oh, it's this way. We went the wrong way. Come on. Uh, right about here is our staging area, and then we'll be ready. King Lear is in the back. What's his name? King, uh, oh yeah, King Verhelm. Okay, here we go. Aw, oh, shit. They're right up ahead. We're in the right order. Oh no, we have... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, wait. That's not them. It's... Attack! Destroy it. I think we'll just destroy it. Yeah, attack of the wrongly hotkeyed morons. It's the March of the Idiots. Ah oh, yeah. Well, we're doing we're doing our job, that's for sure. How long does it take to kill these guys? Look. They've got a lot of hit points. Look at this. It's just like one person, he's got like 100 hit points. Now that doesn't make too much sense. Okay, there we go. We have to, no, 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 don't go around. Zero, attack. Destroy the gate, then you can go through it. There we go. Uh, attack. Yeah, attack. Uh, what, who else do we have to kill? Oh, they're coming out of the barracks, I guess. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's saving the game. And there we go. We stopped the Danish raids. Okay, now... William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. Mm -hmm. All that remained was to enter York 
and Yorick is up to the knoll. Breach the city gates. Okay, to do that, we're going to need to build up the army once again. Let's bring our units back here to heal. And we're going to unhotkey everything. There. Yeah, I was getting sick of seeing all those numbers. That's our whole army, believe it or not. Um, cavalry one. Spearmen two. We have 20 spearmen. And archers. Four. Who doesn't have a uh, horseman? One. Oh, I see. They weren't all on the screen, that's why. Okay, and then archers. Four. And then these guys are the, yeah, the early men at arms. Three. Okay, let's get a really good cavalry. I really like the cavalry. Let's get a uh, hardened spearmen going. There. And then I think we have two stables. Let's get uh, some more horsey units. There we go. And then we'll be good. Now, now in addition to all of their stuff, it would be nice if, they, if we could hotkey everybody into zero. See, now that seems to be correct at the moment. I mean, I think that's right. Oh, this guy, I forgot. Um, four, five. Okay, so he will be five. In addition to the group he's already in. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give them a few seconds to spawn. And then um, I think uh, that's really all the gold that we need. So we should be okay there. Um, do we have anything else to research? No, not over there. Not over there. Oh, Siege Engineer. Not that we need this, but we might as well research it anyway. Which reminds me, you know, we don't really have a siege. We can't build a siege tower yet. No. Uh, I think we'd have to level up again. Conclaga. Nope. Not that I know of. Okay. Okay, I think everybody is properly healed. Yes, they are. Yeah, you have to click it, and then you sometimes have to rearrange them so they'll heal. Because not, sometimes not everyone gets inside that circle. Okay, let's get you guys uh, queued up over there. Over here, stupid. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so stupid. Ding, ding. See, now all these guys... And then there's a uh, spearman. Spearman over here. Uh, spearmen are number two. Uh-huh, number two. See, some of these guys aren't, aren't hot key to the whole thing. Yeah, give them some formation, yeah. Well, they automatically form into the right uh, order. But we could do wedge formation. We could try wedge formation, actually. Now, let's let's see what the wedge looks like. Ah! Let's do the horse wedge. Look at that. Oh, here they... Ah! They're attacking. Let's attack. You do now. You do not attack my village. 
damage. See? These guys... Let him go. Let him go. There. Uh-huh. Come back through the gate. Oh, we also don't know how to repair the gate. Oh, I know. I know. I think all we have to do is just send the workers over here and they will repair the gate. That's right. The workers will repair this stuff. That was stupid of me. Oh, of course. There we go. I think we finally got all of our horsemen. We have 32. Thirty-two. Thirty-two horsemen. Uh, the spearmen. These are, what are these? Men-at-arms. Okay, so I think that was three. Yeah, three plus these equal all of the men-at-arms. Uh, and then, of course, you can see the issue. Uh, we have people who are not hotkeyed. So here's, here's the problem. So some people are hot key. Everyone's hot keyed now. Except they're not hot keyed into the all. So uh, I need to get them back into the all somehow. So if I were to do this, one, two, three, four, five, and six, six, no. That's what's going on. Look at that. What in the fu- Oh, there's Snuffles. Hey! Great except for the hot king. Yeah, the group assignments are st Look at this, Snuffles. What the fuck am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's select all- Okay, start over. Ding, 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 ding. Zero. There. So no one's hot keyed. God, why is this so freaking? One. Okay, those are the cavalry. We have 32 cavalry. Okay, then two. Uh, two were the spearmen. Where's my spearmen? There. All the spearmen. Two. Minotaurs. 30. No, not archers. Yeah, early minotaurs. Three. Archers, four. Uh, and then, where's King Wilhelm? Oh shit, we lost our king. Oh, oh there he is. Uh-huh. Conflagawaga Pupukaka. Uh, they speak, Snuffles, they speak like uh, Sim, like the Sims. You know, it's the gobbledygook nonsense language. Conflapadoodle. Wiggy chaka waka raga schnicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> there. See, now if I were to do this, I think this is the problem. One, two, three, four, five. So everybody is uh, hot key properly. One, we have four different units cavalry, men at arms, or I mean spearmen, are then early men and archers. King Berlin. Now, how do I get these all into also zero in addition to what they're already hotkeyed under? See, I don't know how to do that. If I do sh control two, no. If I do shift two, see that. See what that did? That just assigned them to the two as well, and that's not what I wanted to do. No. No. See, I did not want that. So that's, it's either a bug, see, and now I'm vulnerable because they're all hotkeyed wrong. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get over there. What's that uh, icon above the numbers? Where? Why did why did they have such a why are they so abstinent? 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, crown icon above the numbers. Uh, oh, that's uh, King Wilhelm. Yeah, that's actually the king. So if he dies, it will throw the rest of the army into disarray. So we have to be careful of that. Okay, is anyone hurt? Yes. Get over here. <sighs> One. Two. See, this is my whole army. So I could do this. The fuck is this? Villager. See, I don't want the villagers as part of it. I don't know. I don't know how I would like. Oh, look. And somebody says one, three. Well, let's just leave it like this. Maybe, maybe you're not supposed to use the whole. There. Okay, uh, time to attack York. Uh, let's hope. Yeah, heal. Hurry up and heal. There, everyone's healed. Good. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Buck -a -buck -a -buck -a -buck. Yeah, I really wish I could learn how to like select multiple ones without that happening. Oh, I know, I know. You have to do it independently. There, so zero, one. Now watch this. And zero. Zero. That's how you do it. Three. Oh, but that's such a disaster. Um, zero. Zero. Actually, we don't even have to do it. We only have to do that once at the end. Okay, so four. I also want four to be part of zero. Oh! Yeah, there. Okay, I see. Five. Um, and then add zero to him. And then make it zero. Two. One. Two. Okay, one. And then we'll add zero. And then make it zero. And then two. Add zero, and then make all that zero, and then three, add zero, make it zero, and then four, add zero, make it zero. Okay, that, that takes too long though. Huh? Oh shit. Baka 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 baka. Okay, that is, those are some sentries from York. We have to be careful with that. Okay, it's time to attack York. Let's just hit. He's retreating. Okay, come on, in formation. Here we go, wedge formation. March. Baka, baka, baka. Oh, here we go. Attack. And then they will automatically um, attack this tower after they kill these guys. See, there he goes. Boom. Okay. In formation. Oh, yeah. I figured you'd been to York. Uh, have you been to Maiden Castle? Or, I mean, have you been to Maiden Hill? Uh, that's a that's the site of an ancient um, uh, uh, fortress that the uh, that the uh, Roman Empire attacked. But that was like white. That was before the Dark Ages. That was during. I think that was during the original Roman Empire. Oh no, you guys don't. I want you guys attacking. Attack! Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Now you're doing your job. 
but I mean everybody. When all that's left is archers, that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, attack. Why are these guys waiting? Yeah, attack move like here. That doesn't mean wait behind. Yeah, I need to find out what attack move is, and I need better. Ding, attack. We'll kill the gate. There we go. Yeah, we breached the city gates. And now we're going to go in here and kill the archers before they kill us. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town. <laughs> we did pour in, didn't we? We don't even have any siege weapons. Uh, yeah. We have to learn, like, attack move. I wish there was a way to force the attack move. But there isn't really. Okay, zero, and then right click. That's not it. See? Okay, now what? I think we have to breach this gate next. Oh, hurry up. Oh, yeah, we have to breach this gate. Destroy main gate. Good. Close main gate. Attack. Attack way over here. Oh, God. I hope we have a big enough army for this. See, I'm glad I built more units. What in the hell are you guys doing? Uh... Yeah, kind of over here. Oh, cavalry. Okay, cavalry. Attack the cavalry. Get them down first. That's the most important. Cavalry will wipe us out if we don't take them. Take those out. And then we'll take. Then we'll deal with these archers next. There we go. Archers. Attack. There we go. Uh. Could you please attack? Yeah, you guys. Ah! There we go. And over here now. No. Boy, it is really hard to get them to do what I want them to do. Good. Yeah, good. Oh, I think uh, most of our... Oh, shit. Okay, let's go. Through here. Can we get through here? Nope. We're kind of stuck. They're not attacking this. There we go. It's just taking a really long time to attack. Okay, I think, so now this means, this just means we have to rebuild the army. No big deal. Let's get the army going. Okay, uh, here, whoops. Ding, ding, clunk, there. Okay, so let's uh, do spearmen. Whoa. Oh, you can hold it down, duh. Okay. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, let's do cavalry. I love cavalry, so let's, yeah, get that going. Kaching, kachong, kaching. Oh, Wilhelm has fallen. Click a unit to order them to revive him. Okay. We're going to have to run over back to York and revive William. Shit, we should have had William retreat. Oh, shit. How are we ever going to... Okay, we're just going to have to leave him there. That's kind of weird. Yeah, the pikemen have the torches, so we actually have to get um, those spearmen and pikemen. I don't even know if we have the right pikemen for that job. 
Whoa, come on, hurry up. Where are my... Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Do, 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 do. While we're at it. Uh-huh, Ragaga? Conflacadoodle. Um, one more stable. There. Uh, where's our archery range? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we need archers. Whoop! There. Let's keep going. Uh, barracks. And now I think we can uh, call some early men at arms now. Yeah. <laughs> it stops. There's like so many in the queue, it just stops. Oh. Yeah, see, so if you queue up more horses, it knows to distribute them evenly. Uh, not really. Clash is auto attack. This is real time. Yeah, I don't know. There, there really aren't many real time. I think, and by the way, this is just the campaign right now. This is not an actual match. We are going to do a match in just a little bit. But I want to, I want to kill York first. These York heads. God, they're still. Well, they have a, a finite number of units, so luckily. Luckily, um, hurry up. And will you just hurry up? How many spearmen? Kachong. Kunkaka. Right, it's auto attack. Yeah, auto attack. This is not auto, it's real time. You can change, that's it. Yeah, that's what auto, and just like, you know, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, it's actually auto attack. You know, actually, you, you strategize during a turn and then you auto attack on the next turn. See, so, and this is not turn based. Hurry up. Yeah, I need cavalry. Uh, we also need, uh, yeah, spearmen. How many spearmen have we got? 26. And then here's men at arms, a few more spearmen, and then we're good. And uh, how many archers? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we ran out of food. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We ran out of food. Okay, so now we have to build food. We have to build food. So let's build farms. Uh-huh. I can't believe we ran out of food. And then around it... Fresh meat. <laughs> yeah, the matches actually look even better because there's different there's different factions. You know, there's eight different factions. There's the French, there's the Russes, you know, which is like Russia and Poland and Belarus. There's the Mongols, there what else? There was Chinese. Hey, will you guys hurry up? Please. There, more archers. There we go. Okay, who is still idle? Kunkaka. Gabubulyaka Apupukaka. There we go. Uh, one more. Good. There we go. Now we're producing. Uh, I think we've also researched everything we can research. It doesn't even give us the chance to level up. I don't know why not. In the matches, you can level up. You know, we, I'll show you a match in just a little bit. Or either uh, yeah, Nakuna Matata. 
But Boo Boo Yaga Poo Poo Kaka. Oh, watcha. Watcha, watcha. Okay, we're almost. How many more? Yeah, we're almost done here. Yeah. Ah. There's our cavalry. I just don't want there to be any uh, gaps this time. How many archers? 19. That's not enough. Hurry up. And since we're waiting, we might as well get some more spearmen and more pikemen. Or whatever those guys are, the swordsmen. Oh, and since we're waiting... We ran out of food again. Yeah, see, I wasn't producing food. I was not paying attention to our resources. Speaking of resources... Oh, shit! Oh no, they're here. It's a cavalry. Uh, archers. All the archers. Okay, so one, archers in the back, four. There we go, we'll take care of these guys. Attack move right here. I know they're going to whittle down our uh, cavalry a bit. Come on, archers. There we go. Yeah, the archers really help with the cavalry. Goodbye. I don't think we lost too many. There. We have to heal whoever's... Did we lose this? I don't think we lost any. Good. There would have been white, no white people in America, just Native Indians. Yeah, right. Um, warring tribes. I mean, they would war with each other, of course. Hurry up and heal. Uh, who else was um, hit or hurt? Yeah, okay. You know, I just realized we need more archers, so. Okay. I think we are done producing stuff, yeah. Six more, and then we're good. Kankaka. Oh, a bubu yaga, a pupu kaka. Uh huh. Wagaga. Okay, these are spearmen, so that's number two. And we're still producing a few more. Uh, Archers. How many more archers? That's it. That's it. In fact, we'll leave one behind. Okay, one, two, three. Oh shit. There, there's all of our there's our cavalry. Okay, there we go. Uh one, two, three, four, two. Who is who is not hotkeyed? Yeah, all these guys. Those are the early men at arms. There it is. Oh hey, uh, camping snake. Yeah, we're uh, we're just doing a campaign, and then we're gonna do one match, and then we'll end. But we're trying to capture York. York is up here. We also had to revive poor little Wilhelmut. Oh no. There. Okay, we're good. One, two, three, four. Hurry up. I left one archer behind, but that's okay. They're used to it. They're used to neglect and abuse. Oh, I didn't say march all the way up to the front. Where are they going? Okay, yeah, there's the formation. Uh, let's give them a wedge formation. Oh shit. Yeah, four, four A attack. There we go, there we go. They'll be okay, don't worry. 
Uh huh. Oh no, you don't. See, they're trying to draw us in without rallying. Let's get rallied up first. Okay. Is that our whole army? It sure is. So in addition to that, they now get zero. And now they'll put their wedge formation. In wedge formation, please. That, that is not wedge formation. Didn't I just say wedge formation? Oh, there, now you do it. Here's the horse wedge. Let's go. Baka 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 baka. Da 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 da. Here they are. Attack! Get in there! Ah, they're running away. They see this whole cavalry and attack. Uh, we need to send a few people over here and revive him. Hurry up, revive. No! Revive, revive. Good, he's revived. Attack. And let's uh, hotkey him. And attack. Boom. Get in there. Yeah, we'll kill these guys. King William has been injured again. Isn't that wonderful? Will you stay alive, please? There. Zero, zero, attack. Zero, A, ding. Yeah. Nope. Zero, attack, ding. Right there. I said zero, attack. I mean, they're like, look, look over here. Zero, attack. Here. They will not stop attacking this fucking thing. Why? What do you have to do to get them to get over here? I mean, they're just attacking the wrong thing. Stop attack speed. Attack. Oh, good. We got him. The keep fell to the Norman army. Good. The was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over. And uh -huh. William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Um, this game has my card running at 70 degrees Celsius. That's too much. This game doesn't need that. I mean, that's so stupid. Um, well, at least we fixed the frame, the dropped frames. Oh, you've been up Maiden Hill Fort to the top? Yeah. Used to be called... My Dune, the name of my druid. Remember, uh, I named it My Dune, so that's where I got it from. Uh, Maiden, Maiden Castle, or like Maiden Hill, used to be called My Dune. That was like an old English, like really old English, or actually it was uh, Gaelic. It was like early Gale, My Dune for uh, Big Hill. It was that's it meant huge hill. And then I named my druid in Diablo 2 after that. Let there be light. Let there be light. Yeah, but, um, well, let's see what kind of utilization I was getting out of that. But even right now, right now, this is just a splash screen and it's running at 70 degrees at only 30 frames a second. That doesn't make sense. GPU utilization is only 44%. Why is this at 70 degrees? I mean, it's like a heater here. In fact, it's so hot, it's turning, look, it's turning my face red and orange and I'm on fire. I feel like fresh meat. Fresh meat. Yeah, I don't know. 
that's that's poor performance actually Diablo was doing this too it was like all the way up at 70 console and then they fixed the performance issue and then it dropped it just to whatever it needed like like 55 to 60 this is a uh, micro micro chart performance problem Okay, so that was it. We defeated York. Uh, we will, uh, let's quit because now we're going to go, yeah, we're leaving campaign mode. Now we're going to do an actual match. It's called a skirmish. Now let's do a solo battle versus the AI, okay? Now um, we can create, let's see, we could create a game. I like this, see, so you can set up, uh, you can, oh, it's a generated map. Well, how do you, uh, yeah, uh, we could actually switch to French. Aggression, cavalry, economy. Holy Roman Empire. Oh, what about London too? You, can you do that? Well, um, you can't sack London. I don't think that might be actually. Uh, well, um, uh, that's what William conquered first. I don't know. Well, he started at the shore and then he went straight to London, I think. Uh, docks can garrison, la la la. See, so you have to learn how to play these different. The Abbasid, the Delhi Sultanate. Oh, this one has uh, elephants. The Delhi has at war elephants and they trample those in their path. The Ruses from the countryside, they're able to gather resources and they can field strong combat units. Fishing ships don't have to return to a dock to drop off food. Construction wooden, oh, construct wooden fortresses, construct hunting cabins, stronger palisades, early Karnugat, yeah, and then higher bounty. Okay, let's try the, the ruses. Let's try the ruses. Okay, now we will add an AI player. See, an intermediate, yeah, we'll just say intermediate probably get my butt kicked we'll make him English yeah because we already know what to expect out of English uh, now how do you change the map yeah when condition yeah you destroy all the enemy landmarks uh, control all the sacred sites and build and defend a wonder okay that's what we have to do to win. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was the French. Yeah. Yeah, I was the French units. Starting conditions. Uh, starting resources are standard. Starting age is age one. See, so there's only four ages in the game. And then the map state is concealed. Yes, we want it concealed. And then the map setup. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Change map. Okay, dry Arabia. The Lipini, High View, a hilly map where stealth forests permeate the lowlands. The Mountain Pass, a mountain range with narrow passes cuts through the center of the map. Yeah, let's do Mountain Pass. Crafted maps. Oh, you can craft your own. Ooh, coming soon, eh? I saw that. There was a little tool tip there, coming soon. So why didn't they do it with launch, though? Okay, mountain pass. Oh, it's gigantic. But how do you uh, change the... Oh, there's the map size. Small. Well, let's do medium. I like medium. Okay, biome is European temperate. A representation of the typical European temperate grassland. Yeah, let's do that. European. Gobi Desert. Okay, let's start the game. Yeah, you can even add a map seed if you like. It's amazing. Danube River flows through Serbia. Let's see, do we have like a Serbian? No, yeah, I think they just do uh, European temperate. Now, what is this? 
Ah, Taiga Summer. Ooh, based on the deep woods that dominate Northern Europe and much of Russia. Let's do Taiga Summer. Okay, here it is. Mountain Pass with a uh, medium and Taiga Summer. Okay, so, and it's an intermediate AI we're playing against. Oh, Steve Spector is here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're doing our first match now. We're we're the we're the Ruses, and I don't know how to play these guys. So, so we have to destroy all the enemy landmarks, or we have to control all the sacred sites, or we have to build and defend a wonder. I see. Press any key to continue. Siege engines must deploy to attack. Do not neglect trade. Traders, which are on the market, can dramatically boost your gold income. Okay. So we have to learn this. Now, I also hope that I can change the game speed. How do you change the game speed? Game speed. Tech trees. Player list. See, there's our map seed. If we like the map, we can remember it. How do you start, how do you change the speed? Yeah, we're going to have to find out how to do that. View and remap controls. Okay, fine. Common keys. Speed. I mean, it's the whole game speed I'm looking for. Speed. Slower, faster. That's the replay, though. I guess you don't. I guess we can't change it. Huh, can you not change the speed of the game? Let's see. Let's try it. No, it's not letting me change it. Okay, left click to select a villager. Right click on a berry bush. Here it is. Yep. See, it's a little different than before because now we don't have many resources to start. And uh, this is a scout, so we should start scouting a little bit. Okay, I know we need to generate more villagers. There. Uh, we are running low on food. So we got to watch that. Now, can we build a mill? Villagers can drop off food at this building. Okay. Yeah, hunting cabin. Bajanya. Oh, but what was that again? Yeah. Generates gold based on the number of nearby trees. Based on the number of nearby trees? What? Oh, because it's a hunting cabin. Okay, fine. You there. Okay, nine and then ten. There. So now we have to build a house. See? It's just that you have to, you, you kind of have to build up your village. There it is. <laughs> just uh, berries and wheat. That's what it is. Yeah, so she'll build a house, then we'll be able to produce more units. See? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, we need to produce more food quickly. And really fast, you'll learn how to start a game really well. Like, this isn't the best way to start the game. I think what we need to do is build a wheat field. We do, we are producing wood, but not fast enough. So, see, we're, now we're going to go over here and keep chopping wood. To select a lumber camp. Yeah, we'll make a lumber camp over here. That makes sense. Shit's making sense. That's good. Okay. Yeah, we need to uh, pick more berries. 
so we can produce more people. You can slaughter the goats and sheep too. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Uh, please slaughter this goat. Yeah. Aruga. Confluga. Ship. Ah. And then you can find out how much meat. Oh, I thought I thought you could at least. I guess not. Okay, let's keep chopping. Chip. Yeah, there it is, right there. You have to click. It's really hard to click on it. Well, I guess you could do this. I can't click on it because they're in the way. There, see. Like, there. Wow. They do 250 food. Yep, that's enough food to build muscle. Well, it is um, sheeps, or that's like mutton. Yeah, it would. they're harvesting mutton. Okay, now these guys are chopping wood. Good. Let's keep uh, producing more people. Yeah, Okay, uh, we need to make a, a farm next. So we can keep the... Yeah, make a farm right here so we can keep stuff growing. These berries run out pretty fast. See, so I'm thinking ahead of time. So that's good. What are you doing? Okay, uh, I guess it's time to make the uh, mill, but uh, it's not letting us make a mill for some reason. Yeah, only one villager can work each farm. Okay, 18 out of 30. Uh, I think we're, let's do one more house over here. Hello. Okay, and then we'll have her chop more wood. Yeah, we need more wood. Look at that. Okay, so actually, the next few that come out of the town will go right to the wood. There she is. Uh, what is, uh, now I think it's time to make a mining camp. Yeah, let's go over here and start mining Gort. Yeah, I know that's next. Uh, let's see how my camp, uh, yeah, it's down to 63 degrees, but it's still pretty hot. That's running pretty hot. For just 30, it says 30 frames a second. That looks like 60 frames. To me, that looks like 60 frames. Yeah, it does sound it like <laughs> I have no idea how to speak Russian, so I'm just blowing shark out of my butt. Okay, there we go. Uh, there, now we do two over here, two or three over there. I think we're generating it up. See, you can see how fast you're generating things, and we're generating things just fine here. Okay, and pretty soon we're going to need some stone. Yeah, so we're probably, yeah, let's do stone. That's going to be for the stone walls. She's still collecting from the sheep. Wow, they produce a lot of food. That's good. <laughs> good. Okay, I think that's enough. Look, there's butterflies around the berries. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh no, the AI reached the feudal age. Okay, then we have to advance to the feudal age. Allows the exchange of resources at a favorable rate, generates an additional exchange every minute, acts as a wooden fortress that comes with arrow slits. Uh, let's do the Kremlin. Yeah, Kremlin. There we go, Kremlin time. The one you ordered to build said yeah, which means build. Oh yeah, that's cool. 
yeah, the French weren't really speaking French. It was like a smattering of the Sims language. Yeah, we are not growing fast enough. Whoops, I kind of screwed up there. Okay, pretty soon we're going to have to build a barracks. Which I don't think we can even do yet. No, we can't. Oh, shit. Okay, let's have him explore. Apparently, you you can't let him explore. Stand ground. Garrison. No, you have to just uh, click him around the map. That's kind of stupid. So, temporarily, we'll assign him to one. We just have him keep exploring. Okay, we need to get somebody over here in a minute. Ah, uh, stol. Bijan. Hurry up. Okay. We need to get her to build a stone mine, or like a stone quarry. How do you do that? Oh, stone. Stone. There it is. Stone. Right there. And then they'll start building, um, and then they'll start uh, quarrying. Come on, hurry up. We're producing gold, that's good. What is he doing? I can't tell what he's doing. I think he's chopping him. Yeah, he's chopping him. Huh? Oh God! Oh, that's cool. He yells when he when there's a scout. So that's just a scout. Well, there's more gold. Okay. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Now we're gonna build barracks. Archery, blacksmith. Uh, apparently, we can't build any barracks yet. Wooden fortress. Okay, why don't we build a fortress right now, right here? I don't know if you're supposed to build it around the Palisades. Uh-huh. Oh God, here, here comes somebody. Uh, this is a scout. Yeah, he's just scouting us. But the problem is, I thought they would be able to explore. They're supposed to be able to explore without without you constantly um, managing him. Okay, wooden fortress. So what do you do with the fortress now? Weapon emplacement. Increases the damages fired by the arrow. Arrow slits, okay, but I think we need to upgrade. We need to add a archery range now. Town center, archery range, and stable. There. Let's get the archery range going. Down here. Come on. And I can already tell we're going to need more fields, so let's do that. There. Hey! Uh-oh. Spearman. Oh god, Spearman. We don't even have a... Uh, we don't have any units yet. Oh, shit. Okay, so I screwed up. I, I clearly screwed up. Yeah, you're right. When you ring a bell, villagers are supposed to enter those buildings and defend. Yeah, I don't know if they're able to. Let's see. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, and this is a really bad start. They can attack these guys. See, they're attacking, but you have to uh, specifically tell them to do that. That's awful. Boy, I am so bad at this game. Look, they're all going to die. There we go. Attack. Ding. Hurry up, more, 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 more archers, please. Oh, that's not good. Attack, there. And now we're going to attack these archers. And 
Yeah, ally under attack. See, I'm I was behind. I'm already behind the curve. So I didn't realize they were going to upgrade so fast. Ally under attack. Oh. Okay, so all of the archers over here. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. There, killed him. There, now, now these guys don't really stand a chance. I really don't know if we can put our... Who is this villager? Yeah, can they go in? I don't think they can go in here. Look at that. They're like rallying right outside because they know I'm behind now. Yeah, we we caught up. And all my villagers are dead. That's exactly how do you ring a bell? And I see what I'm doing wrong. I I totally see what I'm doing wrong. Um the issue, let's garrison. Yeah, if we garrison in here, then we'll be protected. Ding, ding. There are eight people. See, now I'm shooting out of the, the wall. I mean, right out of the... See? I'm hurting them. Uh, I'm supposed to be hurting them. Yeah, I am. Okay, over here. Come on. Baka, 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 baka. Attack. See, there's just no way. I'm so far behind. So you learn very quickly. You learn really fast that you have to stay ahead of the curve. As soon as he advanced to the feudal age, I realized that, whoops. See, we're dead. It's over. There's no way. So we'll never win now. Let's start over again. Let's restart. Oh, okay, it's in the town center building. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing, but this time now we know that we cannot, we don't have uh, troops. I guess we just have cavalry and archers. Yeah, that's kind of a shit. Okay, now right away. Kankaka. There it is. So ding, 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 as much as we can. So you have to make as many uh, people as you can right from the beginning. See what we're doing? And as soon as one comes out, hurry up. See, so this is the way you do it. You start with that. Then um, I think we're going to, next we'll start with, we'll try to level up quickly. Uh, hunting cabin. Yeah, that's right. Hunting cabin. The reason we put the cabin right here is so they don't have to walk all the way over here. Are ants crawling on me? Oh shit. Pantalones. And me pantalones. Uh, they removed the feature in the sequel? Yeah, possibly. Okay, now let's let's get moving quickly. Lumber camp. Yeah, let's get a lumber camp going over here. And then we'll get her also building it. And then they'll start chopping in. Yeah, there seemed like there were ants. Maybe it's just me. I'm itchy. It is very dry here. Okay, so there's our scout. Let's start scouting. But what I don't like is that you have to, you know, you have to keep clicking and clicking. Like, I don't like clicking around. Okay, uh, keep producing. Come on, more. Oh, build more houses. Oh, shit. Okay, see, so we're already behind. We're already behind. Damn it. Yeah, bijon. I should have done that from the beginning. See, so, but you do learn very quickly the... Um, order in which you have to do things like I have to build a house before I even build the lumber see because we had enough wood to build the first house 
There we go, see? And now we're going to build... Oh shit, we don't have enough lumber. See, so now we have to get them over here. As soon as we have enough lumber, we will build another house. That's how you do it. Oh, might as well slaughter this one. Chop. I love how they just chop. Okay, and immediately to level up to two, we're going to need 400 wood and 200 gold. Yeah, so we do have to mine the gold uh, fairly early on. So let's build another house. House, house. Yeah, and then we're going to have her build a gold mine and we'll start mining gold. Let's keep, let's keep them coming out. Come on. Actually, can she build the gold mine? Yes, she can. There, see, now we're doing better. Yeah, and, and I even know, I do know that button for idle workers. See, it, it knows if a worker is idle and it, it does that. So we don't need to b build another house at the moment, but we need to get her over here to start mining gold immediately. Mine gold immediately. Okay, we'll get one or two more people over here for wood. See, now we're low on wood. So we'll get these guys mining some wood, or chopping wood. And then two more over there, then we have to put some more over here. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, now this is where I build a farm. There, see, so now even if they run out of food, there's a farm. There they go. Now, there is a palisade, a fortified palisade wall, a well built defensive wall for quickly fortifying an area. Maybe we should do that. Oh, Dave says try to make sure, yeah, everyone is busy doing something. And I think um, we're going to scout. We do need to scout scout this area, find out where they are on the map. I think they're over here, so we should build a wall through here. What's that? Oh, there's more deer and shit. Good. I love deer and shit. Yeah. Concogs. Another farm. Yeah, let's build a second farm. We're there. We're chopping wood. Yeah, we're doing good. We're chopping in, and we're mining the 255 gold. Uh, ding, ding. Uh-oh, he's yelling at me. Okay, I see what we're doing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a wall right here. Fortified palisade wall across here. Now they can't get across. What's this? Oh, he's herding the sheep. Well, isn't that cute? Let's send him way over there. Okay. Uh, now who's doing what? You see, we have to transition to uh, fields now. There it is. Uh, now, uh, who is not doing what? There. Let's have her go over there. We need to get more people over here now. How many people can mine? I guess any number of people can mine the gold, I think. Yeah, that wall, there, there's the wall. Uh, we probably need to make a gate, fortified palisade gate. There it is right there. They can't get through this. And we might have to do it over here too. Yeah, see what we're doing? There we go. See, now we're getting a cadence going. And we should always be producing more people. Uh, we need, what do we need to advance to level two? Uh, we need 400 food and 200 gold. Hey, there it is, there it is. Level two. Kremlin. Dear Kremlin. There it is. Okay, and now we're going to have multiple people build this. There. Hurry up. In fact, we can get one more person over here. 
See, and, and they still advanced to the feudal age quicker than I did. There it is. Uh huh. Oh, we can't even produce units until we do that, too. Yeah, we are kind of open to attack here. Uh, let's have her explore over here. Can they get around this? Yep, they can. They can easily get around that. They might decide to attack from this direction. I think we're going to have to put a yeah, palisade wall here like that. There's another gold mine out here, but we're not doing that right now. Ding ding. Okay, we're gonna need more houses. So let's build more houses. There. La. Uh, we can, uh, oh, can we fortify? It comes with arrow slits, castle turret, and castle watch technologies. Oh. Uh, but wh how do we, what do we do with that? Okay, now we're going to build an archery range, obviously. Yeah, what is this? House. Oh. Well, build it. Yeah, see, we need to build more houses. Another house. Oh, hurry up. There, we got the archery range, and we also need a stable, then we'll start producing units. Yeah, I'll watch out for that spy this time. Okay, we'll start produ- uh, we need- oh dear. Uh, I know the cavalry is very- ooh, early night. Look at that. Early Connecticut. Ding. Ding. We're out. Yeah, we need we need to produce more food quicker. I don't think we have mill technology, do we? No. <sighs> okay. Boy, these uh, cavalry take a long time. Well, these are early knights. That's why take a long time to make these. There. Da, 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 da. There. We can already defend ourselves early. So actually, let's... The rally point for both of these will be over here and over here. There. there. Let's keep producing more. Man, these guys eat up a lot of food. Mm-hmm. There it is. Ding. Okay, who is not... Okay, we have to see if anyone's idle. Oh, God, all those people were idle. I'm so stupid. See? You have to think of all this. All the time. Oh, shit. How do you destroy? Destroy. How do you destroy? Oh, delete. Blah. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't, I couldn't put it there because of the stupid thing. There we go. There, I think this will help us produce enough food, right? Yeah. So now we can keep, yeah, generate more of these and then bring more of these out. Yeah, we're building our army now. Look at those knights. Early night. Yeah, now try to attack us. <laughs> We're standing outside their their fortress. Hey, let's uh, let's walk. The, oh God, they've got knights too. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, now we have to just find out what it would take to get to level three. We need twelve hundred food and six hundred gold. 
Okay, that's going to take a while. We need to build up our army. That's why we're doing this. Um, idle workers. Okay, I guess it's just going to be a... Yeah, you just have to make a bunch of them, I guess. We're out. We're sh short on wood. So whoever's going to still be idle, we now have to chop wood. Ah, 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 ah. Damn it. See, this is where I'm really, this is where I'm really bad. It's like I'm trying to get these guys to attack, and it, they're not. Yeah. Okay, whole army, get over there. They got around. See, we had the right idea, but they still got through. Kill them. That better be the only place we're under attack. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Donkey Poodoo! So had the right idea with the Palisades, but they just went right around. Okay, we're low on this. Not again, you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers. See? Attack move. Get over there. There. I mean, seriously? Yeah, uh, we really need more people chopping wood. Seriously. Okay, more archers. And more uh, early knights. Again. Yeah, see, this, this is where it gets extremely annoying. They're standing right there, and they don't even care that uh, my villagers are being attacked. They need a better line of sight or something. There we go. We just have to keep generating more people, I guess. Yeah! We're really, really low on wood. So, and I think part of the problem is that... We lost a lot of people to that shit. Now, what happened to everybody chop, uh, mining gold? Yeah, I wish we could produce uh, people faster, but we can't. We need 1,200 food and 600 gold. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Come on. Oh, 100 gold. Yeah, see, that's a, that's a real problem. They killed a lot of our villagers. That's what happened over there, I'm sure. Yep. So we're not chopping enough wood now. Okay, and then we'll add these guys to zero. All, everyone get down here and attack. Nope, too late. They're dead. We need to close that gap right there. Uh, let's bring one of these guys out. Bring one of these guys out. Yeah, close the, pa close the gap here. Like uh, this. There. God, what a... I remember how annoying real-time strategy games could be. And I bet they'll come up from the top now. Yeah, we have to mine more gold. Come on, keep it coming. <laughs> 43 out of 60. Pretty soon we're going to run out of uh, space. I see that. Yep, uh, what did I say? What did I say? But here they are. Ding, zero, click. They're going to kill all the villagers again. It takes them frickin' forever to get up there. Oh, what? Yeah, do you have order like aggressive, passive? Uh, not really. We just have the uh, stance. 
See, they're just killing all the villagers. Uh-huh. There. And now we're gonna need some up here, so before no, don't don't do that yet. There we go. That doesn't cost a lot of gold either. I'm pretty surprised. Whoops. There. Yeah, you just have to keep queuing them up, especially as fast as they die. Good. Hurry up. Now watch, though. There's still like a gap. I think we have to just keep building, right? Until we hit the edge of the forest or something. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll just keep doing that. Um, they do um, whittle it down, but at least um, this will serve as a temporary barrier. And then um, we have to think about yeah, more and more gold. Come on. Uh, we actually need what we really need now is wood. We have enough um, of this. Oh, zero out of one. Okay. God, this is taking forever. Well, they killed a lot of the villagers. See, when they kill villagers, it actually puts you way behind. Uh-huh. Okay, more wood. I want wood. And eventually they're going to cut a hole through this forest, so then we'll have to finish the palisades over that way. Whoops, palisades. There. That's it. And then that's it for over there. And then down here, we have to finish the palisades on this side. There doesn't seem to be a way to finish it, so we'll just kind of encircle our village with uh, fences and barbed wire. This wall building reminds me of the wall building you and Madam did in the survival game. Oh yeah, the forest, right? Yeah, it is sort of like that. There's a lot of wall building in these real-time strategy games. I forgot that how important it was. We're still not. Oh, come on. Scout, textiles. Increases villagers' health by 25. Yeah, but the thing is, if I uh, did that, then we would... It would stop producing villagers, which is not good. Oh, I see what it does. It it puts like two of the. Those are how. Yeah, shit. Okay, and one, two more archers. Now we have to think about leveling up. Control all sacred sites. Yeah, so we ha we need a gate over there, and it would probably help to, let's just keep building until we hit a, we're not even hitting a uh, forest on the other side. See, so I'm just building around everything. I hope we don't need stone anytime soon. There it is. So we could, we have enough. Yep, yep, let's start, let's start advancing. Come on, two of you guys. How about three of you guys? Time to advance. High trade house generates gold like a hunting cabin with a value increased by 200%. Act as a monastery. How about over here? Yeah. Okay, we are advancing. But it's weird that you only advance, you know, there's only four ages and like we're already starting age three. Empire Earth, you would advance from cavemen all the way to like uh, space age robots. 
That was kind of fun to do that. Okay, what we're doing. Did you hear him? He said, this is bullshit. Well, I don't care. I don't care if you think it's bullshit or not. Yeah, we don't want to mine too much because then just mine our asses right off. Uh, there's a market. You know, we could do the market. Yeah, let's do the market. We'll put the market right over here. Because then we can start converting this food to gold or wood whenever we need it. But the exchange rates kind of suck, so we have to be careful. We should only use the market when we have to. Did she finish yet? Yeah, let's let's completely encircle us with. Uh, do 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 Going somewhere? Oh, wait, where are you going? A new age begins. Yeah, they're starting to build it. Now, where did I have them build it? Uh, yeah, high trade house, but I don't know how to trade. Oh no, we are now in level three. Good. Okay. And we need more workers. Which means we also need more houses. House. 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 There they are. I see it. I see them coming. You're not going to kill us. Watch this. Ha ha. Surprise. Going somewhere. Got him. Not only that, we're producing more units over here. Okay, we have to keep producing the units. Uh, let's start producing crossbowmen. And um, early nights. More of those. What? Da -da. Oh no, look, they came through. They came through. Yeah, we screwed up. Just slaughter everybody like a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know how to protect my villagers so much. Hurry up. Yeah, you guys are taking an awfully long time. Mogadishu. Yeah, more, look, and see, I just have to get better at this. But anyway, you get the idea. You know, each time you play this game, you get better and better, and you have to learn all the different uh, units and the unit relationships with all, you know, of all of the, all of the people in the game, all the different units in the game. And you'll get through it, see, like, Going somewhere? They waited until there was a gap in the palisades and then they snuck right through. See, so you have to be careful not to, uh, not to chop down so much wood that it creates a gap. So kind of like that. Yeah. What do you mean we're under attack? You've got to be kidding me. They, so they apparently didn't learn their lesson the first time. Let's just get over here. Da, 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 da. No. No. Yeah, now we need to build. See, this is. I'm just not good at this. Uh, we need to build a gate down here so we can actually get through. Okay. 
Yeah, this is just intermediate and they're kicking my arse root. No, build it. Dang, I need to get, see, I need to get better at that too. Uh-huh. Quattro da ragarato. Cannot build here. Because the trees are in the way. So actually they can't get through. At the moment they can't get through. They he reached the castle age. Oh I actually reached the castle age before he did. So for some reason I do not know where's the market? Oh here it is. Yeah, so we can trade if we need to. Sell wood, sell to get gold, yeah. Yeah, I like that. See, we get more gold, or we could do, spend 126 gold to get 100 wood. Yeah, see, we need more wood right now, but you should do that sparingly. Okay, let's encircle our whole camp with shit. Good. Yep, and we've got a gate. Uh, we should produce more of these. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a problem too. Uh, I wish, yeah, I wish you wouldn't have to chop down every tree because, um, um, it, that can get away from you just like it did with us over here, you see? I would really like to uh, have her chop this, these trees down here. There. Yeah, otherwise, uh, that's pretty much how you play the game. You just have to keep... There are idle people... Oh no, our gold ran out. That's not good. But remember, we have the market now. We have the market so we can actually uh, trade gold. So if you're out of one thing, you can actually trade for another. Okay, we need a mining camp and we'll put a mining camp right here at the stone and then we'll start mining studying. Uh, produces religious units and houses religious technologies. And here's our siege workshop. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, we're not in a position to start sieging yet. Can we put a... I guess we could put a fortress here. And then we can put a fortress here outside. I'm just going to put a fortress outside to see if that actually <clears throat> makes more sense. Build a wonder. Don't ask me how I'm going to build a wonder. Uh, but it does say um, monastery. Let's make a monastery. Probably over here. Any idols? Nope. Everyone's working. I did forget that before to make sure everyone's working. Um, okay, they built that. Now who goes in there? Archers. Crossbowmen. Horse archer. Yeah, definitely not a horse archer. Uh, let's make a, what is this? Upgrade to veteran. Yeah, let's do it. And then upgrade to knight. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade the knights. And then we'll produce more knights. Still running low on wood. Why did they stop doing that? I said build. Uh-huh. The uh, music is cute. 
It's supposed to feel sort of a uh, middle age, or I mean medieval, but um, not bad. The thing I don't like about archers being in here is that I don't know, I'm not good at emptying them. Like if I need to empty this, I wouldn't know how to do it. Okay, over there. And let's start borrowing a few people to chop wood. There we go. Yeah. I would tend to agree. There. And then here. Perfect. And that completes the wall on that side. See, all of a sudden they're not attacking anymore. And I'm hoping kind of stays like that. Yeah, we need to produce more knights. And we also need to produce more Increase the health by 20. Okay, sure. See, I haven't been leveling up these guys either. Uh, we are running really low on gold. Okay, where is the gold? The, there was a gold mine out here somewhere. Oh, shit. What is the gold mine? Uh, there was a second one out here somewhere. Uh... I don't know. Okay. Uh, why don't I end here? Yeah, I've been streaming for a, a while, right? Oh, this was four hours. I do like it. It's just... You have to play a lot of these games, a lot of these matches to get better and better at things. And through that, you will just get, yeah, you'll be, you'll get better and better at um, building and defending. It's just that I do not know. There it is, see? Like, what the hell are they doing? There, zero, la -da. Zero, attack, la -da. Um, where are the archers? Yeah, there they go. See, they can shoot over the wall. See, that's good to know. And then they'll end the charge or the siege. They're trying to siege my wall, and they're failing miserably. Goodbye. Yay! Yeah! Okay, uh, but there's more down here. Now, what are these guys doing? They're just hanging out, I guess. They're they're probing me, looking for weak spots. So let's close our palisades. Uh huh. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. Cavalry, march. Uh, zero plus these equal the new zero. And now we'll go down here. Actually, I think that was it. There. Yeah, they're not gonna last very long. Goodbye. Ah! There, see, we're kind of fending them back. Uh, oh, there's the other gold right, right here. Now what you could do, I could build another so I have to build a mining camp out here, and I would build some more palisades around this, but that's how you do it. Okay, so I paused the game. I'm going to keep working on this game, but I need to quit now because I need to eat. I'll stream again tomorrow, uh, and... 
Let's see if there's anyone to raid. Yeah, I'll stream the same game again tomorrow. Um, I don't know what's going on with my stupid uh, webcam tonight. I look like I'm in hell. That was a lot of fun. I do like trying new games, especially when I think I would have been a little uh, disappointed if I spent 60 bucks on it. But the fact that it's on the Game Pass, that just makes it that much easier to enjoy. And it's not like the uh, developers, when they release something on the Game Pass, it's not like they're losing money uh, because they get a nice commission for just joining the Game Pass. So um, actually, in some cases, the developer or the publisher will, will um, be more profitable by putting this on the Game Pass. But this was pretty much an, a Microsoft-sponsored game anyway. Age of Empires is a Microsoft game, pretty much, or a franchise. Okay, we'll, so we'll see you later, Dave the Damon, uh, Dunbrine, and um, Booby Tits, and Sir Fazzy, and already others. Mr. Milkman, 